اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم How you doing? Good. Oh. You got your footage, you're going to have our footage. Whose footage? Huh? Whose footage? Uh, Dave's recording, you're recording, huh? You got Who's recording? Who's David? Uh, David Wood? Let uh. me be, be the first to apologize for their tardiness. Oh, it's all right. We're here all day. <laughs> We're here all day. Feel free, it's all free. That's right. You know Bilal Phillips? I like his voice. You like it? Yeah, it's got that deep voice. Yeah. How you doing? How's it going? Good, good. Are we oh, are we fisting or? <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. Are we good? Okay. Cool. Okay. How you doing? Good to meet you. Good, but I know it's got to be six feet. Yeah, six feet. Yeah. So you guys Christians, I'm assuming? You know who we are. I don't know who you are. Oh, Why would you assume I know who you are? Are you famous? From, uh, well, we showed up yesterday, and uh, you guys here said uh, that Sam said he was going to be, he was going to yeah. come by, and they're like, you're, well, you didn't come by earlier. You're Sam? No, this is Sam. Yeah, come on, man. You know yeah, no, Sam. Uh, I don't know Sam. Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Like, I, I don't know if you guys... Uh, no, my name is Osman. Osama Abdullah? No, I don't know who that is. Oh, okay. He's joking. He's joking. We know who you are. Oh, you know who I am. Yeah, we saw a video. Oh, you're just being, you're just being funny. Yeah, he's being funny. I like that, he's Hasumu. Not very, he's not very good at it. So you're Hasumu then? He's not very good at it. No, no, I'm not a sumo wrestler. You're not Hasumu? No, no, no. That's hey, what's your name? That's My name is Hasamu Shimu. Hasamu? Yes, sir. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so I just want to get to know who you are, bro. Why are you, why are you all? Hey, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Go ahead. Calm down, yeah. I just asked him. I know, but you were acting like somebody was getting up with you. I think. Oh, no, 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 no. Good conversation. Yeah, yeah, let's have it. So you are? David, I'm David. David? Wood. Wood. Yeah. Hammer time. What's that? They call you hammer time, right? So yeah, some people Okay, do. okay, gotcha. Yeah. That's oh, you. you do know. Uh, yeah, I no, no, somebody told me about you, so yeah, yeah, that's okay. good to finally meet yeah. you. Yeah. Nice. You guys flew to San Diego? There's a gangbanger down here in uh, San Diego. Oh, right? man, you know me. He was, he was too. He was too. He was too. What you they, were? What did they call you down I don't know here? if I should be telling you, man. Uh -huh. You were a gangbanger? Well, they called him Hammer Time. What did they call you? They called me Shooter. Shooter. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. We're on even playing field then. I was called Crook. Crook? crook? Yeah. Were you a crook? He was, here, he was a car thief. Oh. What gang were you from? I, I lived up uh, in Orange County, but also... What barrio? Ran around in Inglewood, Inglewood Mafia, those sorts of things. Were you a blood, crib, essay? No, more of an essay type gang. Nice. Cool. But my background is Sicilian, just like... Ah. You're, uh, you're Pakistani, right? Yeah, I'm Pashtun, yeah. So we're both guys sort of out of our own water in a sense, but we... I feel you. In different, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. What's your name? My name's Anthony. Anthony, nice to meet you. I didn't watch so are you are you guys Christian then or Catholics? Yeah, are you? I've seen, I've seen one of your videos. You might have seen more, but I see well, I saw one video. It popped up. Uh, it was because you mentioned Christian Prince. Okay. And it was where you you said you you challenged him to a debate. You said yeah. you debate anyone. So yeah, anyone. So we decided we know Christian Prince is not going to come down. There okay. He doesn't. He does, he's not comfortable revealing his identity. Why? But, uh, uh, I mean, you're here. If, Nobody's. If, if, if we knew, <laughs> that's a good question for Christian Prince, right? That I mean, you guys are here. Anybody harming you? Anybody attacking you? I don't think that's the. I mean, I don't know. I couldn't speak. To Is he like on a on a sex registry somewhere? Like, is there a problem with showing his face? I show my face. I don't have a problem. I know a lot of. You're here. That show their face, but right. So why would he be ashamed of showing his face? I don't know. I don't know if that's the reason, though. What do you think the reason is? Scared, maybe. Maybe he's a professional business. I actually know some Muslims that are like this. A lot really? Of just, yeah, they just don't want to Muslim debaters or YouTube well, guys? I think they all show their face, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, I, don't I, know. Know, I know quite a handful of people that just right. like to... They, yes, this yes, isn't, yes, they're not interested in becoming public figures, per se, but they do like to engage the discussion. All right. I'm sure in their own it's good context, to see you back. I'm sure in their own context, they're known. Yeah. Yeah. How could you not... You know, if you engage people, then you're going to be known, at least in your context. But they don't... Right, but I, I think... National attention. I think here. every Muslim YouTube guy shows their face. I don't know if any that don't, right? So I'm just wondering well, back why... Back in the day, for example, Yaya Snow... I, I never heard of that name before in my life. But I, I used to... I mean, I've been engaging 
people for at least 20 years. Wow. So, well, you got experience. Well, that's, that's not my point. My point is just I know Muslims who prefer not to, and that was just what it was. And I thought, okay. okay, so let me just get to know you as what kind of, because different kind of Christians I was explaining to, we get all kinds here, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't, I've never watched any of your videos, so I don't know you, so I want to get to, if I you I am don't. a Presbyterian pastor, so I'm a okay. reformed Christian. So do you believe Jesus is God, or do you believe Jesus is the Son of God? I think that's a false antithesis. Uh, just a, a question, a honestly. Jewish, well, yeah, so the answer is it's a false antithesis. That's not what you said, but okay. In a Jewish context, to be the son of means to have the nature of, the one that you are the son of. And so in Christianity, the son of God is by nature God. Okay. But without division, right? And, and without so division. So they're the one. They're one. They are absolutely okay, one so, in their essence. Okay, so God, Jesus is one. Right. So they don't have okay. parts, for example, as in Islam, where God has multiple parts. God doesn't have parts. Attributes. So you don't believe Allah has a face? Okay, let me explain that but to you. But do you? Can I? Wait a minute. You, you asked a question. Ago. Can I answer it? Yeah, you asked me a question a minute ago, then you, okay. then you faulted me for not just directly answering. I'm directly answering if okay. you let me speak. Okay, so, so, okay. Eyes, so, you see this? Let's just you clear, see this? Let's just be clear with the He's question. just clarifying the question. Let's sure. be clear what the question is, and then I'll let you talk. Face, eyes, hands, shin, foot, or feet. Uh, does he have those attributes, those okay. qualities? And I'm not asking you to describe what those qualities are. You are you done with your question? My question is, does he have multiple attributes? You, you see why you're not letting me answer, right? Okay, thank you. So can I speak? Okay, so as I listen to you, please listen to me, okay? Allah is one. Undivisible. Okay. Al Ahad, he is the one that is one without two. Okay. He has sifat that are all his. And sifat. Can I can I can I finish? Oh, I, I'll, I'll explain it. No, I don't need you to define. Just define it for me. Thank you. I'm asking you to. I will. Okay. See, see, when I asked you to let me speak, you interrupted me again. But I'm, I'm if you just let me. No, no, don't, 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 don't be in, in, insulting towards me. Let me speak. You're being insulting. And, all I'm asking you to do is. Am I being insulting or am I trying to answer here? Well, the wood? Am I just trying to answer or yeah, am I being insulted? I think you just want to. A lot of. Uh, look, look, if you want your, my answer, you have to listen to my yeah, answer. Yeah, I'm, I'm using, just explaining what he's saying. A lot, of your, a lot of your viewers are going to be familiar with terms that our viewers might not I'll be. I'll explain familiar, it so if he lets me. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, so you need to know I need you to explain it. When you speak, I'm going to listen. When I speak, you can listen. So you're and then if you would like to get a clarification so you're, after, you're, I'm, see, again, again, look at this, right? He, he doesn't want me to speak. <laughs> let, 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 your, let your audience see this, We've already agreed that, that you this. won't let me this speak. Won't tell us what I will okay. if you let, listen, okay? Go ahead. If you need a clarification afterwards, please wait for me to let finish and then ask me to clarify. Is that understandable? That's can we have a okay. civil discussion so here? There we go again. You just okay. a question and answer. <laughs> Your own buddy is telling you let him answer, bro. Let him, let him go. Thank you. Thank you. At least you want to hear it. Okay. So when you talk about sifat, they are of Allah's characteristics. They're not divisible. You cannot take the hand away from the face. They are all a part of Allah. Okay? Part? Yes. Okay. Sifat are characteristics. You understand? For example, this is a gentleman named David, right? Now, this is your face. This is your hand. This is one. If I cut your hand off, it will not exist anymore, right? Because that is now cut off from your body, right? This is you, understand? Allah has sifat that are not like humans. They're not like us. But he has sifat that he told us about in the Quran and upon the lisan of the Prophet. Now, let me explain those words. Allah has characteristics that he has explained in his holy book, the Quran, and upon the tongue of his Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But he is one. He's not divisible. He doesn't become into parts, not Legos. That is not the way it works in Islam. Okay? Now, any terms you didn't understand, no, no, Anthony? I, I understood the terms and I okay, think just want to be clear. Finding them for the sake of the audience. But Excellent. Here's my question. At one point, you said he has sifat. These are attributes, characteristics, parts of him. Yep. They're inseparable from him. Yep. But you referred to them as parts. So do you believe? I, I did not. Allah? You did use the term part. I said you sifat. Said they're a part. I'll let they're, you. They're a part I'll, of him. Okay. okay. So okay, you let's did use that term. Sure, we will okay. say sifat. So you That's would grant bracket. that at least in that sense, that Allah is not absolutely one. You don't mean he's absolutely one in the sense that he has no attributes. He has attributes. You want me to respond? Yes. You see how I listen to you respectfully without interrupting we you? you? No, ahead. no, I do need to do that we're because... You, that. No, we're no, we're not because you're already interrupting. There you go again. So, the sifat of... 
Like, look at this. <laughs> Your own friend is telling you be quiet, man. He's Listen. begging you to hurry up. Yeah. No, he's not. He's telling you to oh, be yeah. quiet. I'm, 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 I'm interested in the answer. I wanna, Thank you. And I don't want to hear a response. Okay, so, cool. so sifat are not things that make you more than one. This is your misunderstanding, okay? When Allah is one, He's indivisible, absolutely one. His sifat are is His. That does not make Him more than one. This is your misunderstanding. If you had studied aqidah, and if you like to, we have durus, you can learn them. You would have known that the sifat of Allah are unique to Him and are only His and are part of Him. They are not divisible. Having sifat does not make you more than one. This is your misunderstanding. But Let me, can I finish now? Oh, are you finished? No, I'm not. Okay, if I was finished, then I wouldn't be talking okay. anymore, right? right? Thank you. Now, if you look at a, 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 any, any object in this worldly thing, right? like, I mean, I'm giving you just a worldly example, right? If you look at a tree, right? A tree is one. If a tree has, has leaves and fruits and all of that, that doesn't mean that the tree is more than one. Now, if the fruit breaks from the tree, it's no longer a part of the tree. Right now, it's no longer a characteristic of the tree itself. Understand? Allah is one. He has sifat, but that does not make him more than one. Are right. we clear? We're clear on the fact Good. that you're saying he's one in some sense. No, but I didn't say I that. I do not agree that he's one in every sense. If you are saying he has actual attributes, you use the analogy of a tree. Mm -hmm. A tree is composite, it has parts, it has branches, it has leaves. I grant that if something's cut off of the tree, it's no longer part of the tree. Excellent. But the tree is made up of parts. Mm -hmm. If that's what you mean by saying Allah is one, then you are saying that your being, your God, who is one, in sure. the sense that he's only one being, is a composite of parts. So he's not absolutely one. Can there I finish? Is, there is diversity in unity in your deity. Is that true? No. Can I explain it now? Go ahead. All right. I give you the example of a tree. Mm -hmm. And as I said in the example, it's a worldly example to show you that something that is connected is one. When it breaks, it's no longer one, which we have agreed to now, right? Mm -hmm. You said that if it breaks away, it's no longer going to be part of the tree. Okay, I'm glad we agreed to that. When we talk about Allah, as I've said repeatedly, He is one and He does not divide. <laughs> Okay, this is unique to Allah. Allah is uniquely one. He is only one. His sifat do not make him more than one. He is not divisible. He's not broken into parts. He is one. His sifat are part of that oneness. He is uniquely one. Right. Yeah, so, I like David. Uh, David guy. Yeah, yeah. All you're saying though is that he is a composite being that cannot be divided. The, the, the sifat cannot be separated from him. I'm granting that. You're still saying he's a composite being. Okay. No, uh, I mean, there's no objection sure. here yet. I'm just saying. Okay. Could I just you offer a clarification? That? Sure. Yeah, because you what, grant what, that. Yeah, what, 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 I'm, what I'm hearing. So, if you, as you pointed out, a tree is one tree. Okay. A tree is one tree. But you could say the tree is one in the essence of being a tree or something like that. Okay. But it's more than one in cells or leaves or something like that. So, it's a kind of unity and plurality or something like that. Um, so, I think all Anthony is saying is is a lot like that in that he's one in essence or nature or something like that, but more okay. than one in attribute or and I'm not objecting something to that. like that. I understand. Okay. I'm not objecting. I think, yeah, I'm just clarifying. I'm going to listen are. first. Yeah. So uh, that's not an objection. So it's not like you need to think. I'm just I don't think you'd be I don't think you'd be dishonest. So that's not what I'm suggesting here. But that, I don't think that you need to think, OK, what is he after here? Like he's going after this. I'm not going after that. I don't think a lot of Muslims know that. And I think that's accurate. I think that Muslims believe in one being, but they do ascribe to him certain attributes, qualities, characteristics, all hearing, right, all seeing, those sorts of things. But that technically is not belief as, as you find in pagan philosophers in a monad which is okay. uh, uh, something that's devoid of any kind of attributes. It's an absolute unity. Okay, so first thing, I just wanted to understand what you're saying. If you're saying Allah has sifat, then no doubt we agree. And I have taught Aqidah, you can look at the lessons, it talks about it, right? Allah is all hearing, all seeing. But I think what the, mis the, the miscommunication we're having, and maybe we just kind of go past this, is thinking if somebody's all hearing, and all seeing and all knowing that that can somehow make them components that could be taken apart or not a whole as one. I, I don't think having the ability to hear everything and see everything makes Allah where Allah is not wholly one. Okay, so, but anyway. So let me, go ahead. Can I ask? Mm -hmm. So, but you would say 
that his hearing is not his seeing. Yes. Right. So these are distinct attributes. So we are talking of one Allah. Uh, uh, right. Of, uh, so Allah is one, it, but he has these attributes. And these attributes don't leave him. Okay. Now that's okay. that's where I'd like to go after that. Okay. So I mean, you asked me about these, Islamic aqidah, right. right? In Islamic aqidah, Allah. His attributes are his. He can. Can I finish? Yeah. Man, you are. You so are. I, you drank a lot of coffee this no, morning or something, know. man. No, no. Yesterday, yeah. yesterday yeah. we were talking to Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> and it turned into a shouting yeah, okay. match. Well, his, his aggression's yeah. a little okay. amped up. So, 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 so hold on, hold on, okay. Anthony, yeah, Anthony, any Anthony, point. Anthony. You're not talking to Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> your aggression needs to get toned down. That's not aggression. Right? <laughs> you're just taking Look, too much offense. Your, your friend that's with you just called it aggression. Yeah. So, so don't tell he, me. He was, oh, talking, he was talking to Hebrew Israelites last <laughs> you, night. You, you guys <laughs> vi video this, right? <laughs> David is telling you it's aggression, so please tone it down, Anthony. You from your down. friend. He's helping. Your friend is telling you calm down. Why don't you listen to your friend that came with you? Okay. Look like you're, you Come look on. like you're ready to jump over the table, man. Come right? On. I like David. David, you. Yeah. Uh, how come we haven't met earlier, man? Anthony, I can tell you were a crook. <laughs> right. I can tell you were a shooter. Oh yeah, <laughs> still am. Let's go. You're a crook. So, <laughs> that's what they called you, right? <laughs> go ahead. What? Mr. Hammer type, you two keep bumping fists over here. I'm just. We can bump fists. No, no, no. I got you, bro. Don't feel offended. No, no, no. All right. It's going well. So, do you remember where we're at? Yes, I do. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. So, the the. The understanding that you are bringing is, is not where I'm at, but we're going to put that to a side and, and just go to, let, let me finish again, man, no, this no, guy, my finger up. I got you, what okay. understanding. let me, let me you give you, let me give it to you, let, let me tell you, let me, let me speak and you'll know what I mean. Okay. When you say something is one and you say they're compartmentalized to taken up parts, right? It, it comes to an understanding, something that becomes like Legos, right? Something that, that can come apart and put back together, right? Allah is one. His characteristics are with him, always been with him, always will be with him. He can reveal, oh, you're smiling already. Look at that, right? He can reveal a part of his kalam, for example, the Quran, mm -hmm. but the Quran is always with him. Do you understand? Like if you take what's written, that is not the part of the kalam. That can be burnt, that can be ruined. Somebody could eat it, somebody could do something weird, right? But the kalam of Allah is always with him, always will be, not created. Okay? None of Allah's sifat are makhluk. You know what makhluk is? Yeah, creation. Yes. Creation. All right? So this is just the understanding we want to have as a base. Now, my question to you guys, if you don't mind, is do you believe God is one in the sense that he can become two and come back together? And would he still be the same? So this is why I do this. This is why I clarify this. All right, good. You have described Allah as one Although that does not preclude that he has sifat attributes, which would not Christians, take away. <laughs> Christians have classically made the same claim. Okay. Okay. I don't think a lot of Muslims know that this is the Christian view. So that, for example, at least with respect to the attributes of God. I mean, I think we go a bit further though. But when it comes to the person of the Trinity, your description of attributes. Asamu. Come. Your description of sifat. Come, man. Yeah. You look. You look like you're bored, man. Come no, here. Listen. You're looking around, yeah. looking at. Your description of sifat. You got three guys. Assuming I'm understanding you, you correctly, and I'm granting there's a possibility there. There's. A I'm sorry. What? Yeah, I know. He's playing for the camera. So yeah, he's not three of you here. Uh, Can you not count? Okay. Or is it, is it one of you guys? Let's, let's talk here. I'm trying so, to understand. Go ahead. So when Christians speak of God as triune, okay. we don't think of the persons as divisible. Okay. There's a hypostatic distinction. Now, if you're familiar with Islamic Kalam, you know that when, when Muslims classically have spoken of Allah's attributes, they've referred to them as hypostasis. They've given them hypostatic status. That's all Christians have ever said when it comes to the persons of the Trinity. So that for Christians, the persons of the Trinity are not divisible. We don't okay. believe in multiple gods. We're not polytheists. Okay. We believe that all persons of the Trinity co-inhere in the one divine essence, just like you would say, that multiple attributes co-inhere in one being. Now, I do think, though, there's a fundamental distinction between the Christian view and the Muslim view, which is there does seem to me, in some Islamic thought at least, and you could tell me this is not your view, there seems to be a radical bifurcation between Allah and his attributes. So, for example, I'll just give you an example, and you can tell me what you think of that. 
Some Muslims I talk to will tell me that Allah himself cannot be present in his creation, but his attributes can. The attribute of seeing, for example. So that, that's just... Let me, that's you want me to answer at. you? Yes. See how that's I, where we're at, and that's where... Do you see how I respectfully, even though I had a lot to say, I just stayed quiet and listened to you? Did you, did you see that? Yeah, we're, we're okay. past that, come on. We're not, because... <laughs> okay, so, first thing, your delving in kalam, to me, is useless, right? Because I don't believe in ilm al-kalam, okay? Uh, but I'm, I'm saying I thought that was your view, and you could correct me if that's not I, your view. I do not believe in ilm al-kalam, so obviously that's not my view. But I'm just using kalam in the sense of theology, like a key. Do you know what kalam is? Yeah. What is kalam? Well, it's philosophy, but... Well, no, it's not. But it, that's falsafa. Uh, well, but it's... So you don't know what kalam is? It's the same is. idea. <laughs> it is not. Okay, well, go ahead. What is Kalam? Uh, go ahead. Listen, Anthony, what is Kalam? Because you brought it up, but obviously you don't understand what Kalam is. I, I'm, what I'm is just, Kalam? I'm just using it in the sense of people. I understand you're using it. Of Islamic Aqidah and coming to certain conclusions. I know that your methodology would be Quran and Sunnah. That's how you oh. derive your Aqidah. Anthony, you brought up kalam. Mm -hmm. I'm just asking you, what is kalam? Ilm al kalam. What is it? It's not philosophy is falsafa. So what's ilm al kalam? They're related concepts. What are it's basically theology? It is not. From a Christian perspective, that's how uh, we view it. It's an, a kalam as you're using it, understanding Islamic aqidah, right? Mm -hmm. What is kalam? That, but that's what I'm telling you. You don't know. He's saying that's how he's using it. Okay, okay, I got you. So let me explain it to him okay. now. You go ahead. Anthony, you good? All right. So, philosophy is called falsafa. That's basic philosophy. Kalam is use of certain Greek principles, not philosophy in general, understand? In the use of understanding aqaid, and this is something that was brought on by the Asharis and the Maturudi in Ahlul Kalam. You know who those are? Mm -hmm. You know who Asharis are? Yes. Who started the Asharis? Uh, Ashari. What's his name? Ashari. That's his name. <laughs> What's his name? I don't know. I couldn't name? say his full name. You, you know you guys have okay. like mile long so, names. No, no. Abu Hassan Ashari. It's pretty easy. It's uh, not a mile long. Well, it's his yeah. name is Al-Ashari. Yeah. That, that's right. a, that's a try. And he was reacting against people like the Hanbalis or allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at least uh, Athari Akri, Akira. Right. Am I correct? No, but let me, let me explain he, it. Like, he is trying to. Well, I know that I know that you guys would say the original Al Ashari. Uh, so sorry. let me ask this. Go ahead. He, I think maybe you would hold the position that Al Ashari originally held more of a Hanbali like approach, and then people later came <sighs> and said something else. Now, now let me explain this. Okay. Hanbali, if you're talking about the Mantha bin Fiqh. Yeah. But I'm thinking of their Aqidah. More okay. Their so then you're talking about the Athari Hanbali Aqidah, yes. right? Yes. So that was the original aqidah from the time of the Prophet ﷺ, and that's what I follow today. Okay, so I don't follow ilm al kalam at all. In aqidah, I don't deal with it. When these Greek ideas started to seep in, do you understand? Then at that time, people started to misunderstand sifat by using ilm al kalam. Okay, even Abu al Hassan al Ashari, that's why I asked you if you really know who he is, he wrote a book called Al Diyana fi, uh, al -ibana fi Usul al Diyana. I have it if you want to check it out, I'll bring it. I think we're moving. Yeah, we're just moving it off. Can uh, We got it, don't worry about it. Thank you. Here, you guys, get it? Just so you know, it sounds to me like you described Ilm al Kalam just how I'm using it. I'm it's not. not. You, I'm not saying you adopt that. <laughs> All right. I'm just so, uh, this is an area, this all is right, part so, of that area of discussion. So maybe David understood me, because obviously you didn't. So okay. let me let me explain so it again. Okay. okay. You with me now? Yeah. Philosophy is falsafa. Okay? In Arabic, that's what we call philosophy. Ilm al kalam is a totally different concept. It's a concept of taking certain principles of Aristotle's thought and bringing it in to understand the sifat of Allah. This is something that was rejected by all the earlier a'imma, like Abu Hanifa. You know Abu Hanifa? You know the four imams? Mm -hmm. yeah. Who are they? Uh, well, they might take me a second. Abu Hanifa, uh, 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 Ahmed bin Hanbal. All right, you got two. Shafi. You have the eight. One more. Shafi, hold on. You got this, Anthony. Uh, you can do it. I don't pretend to study fiqh. Just uh, so you know. But you, you, you see, so you know. okay. Well, I got three. We're talking about Aqidah here. Uh, uh, Hanafi. No, nope, you already said Abu Hanifa. Hanafi. Hanafi. Yeah. Uh, I'll help you. Hanbali, Shafi. Uh, oh, David, Malachi. for the rescue! Got you, got, you got to thank him for that one. Come on, man. Right. It reminds All right. me of King in Arabic, right. and I think it's similar in India. Okay, so now, that use of kalam is something that was rejected by all of them. Okay, so leave kalam out of it in the discussion. No kalam, okay? Now, even if we tick those, those do not separate God 
from his creation, right? Meaning that that Allah is separate. They don't separate parts of his sifat to go and he can see, but that doesn't mean that he's a part of his creation. Okay? Just because you see something doesn't mean you're a part of that. Okay? Now, my question again now, as I understand, and I want to understand your idea, because you're saying it's the same concept. So let me, let me just, okay, I mean, you said this is the same basic as kalam, so I just want to understand. I, I know what kalam is even though I don't use it, okay? So when you say Jesus was born out of Mary, right? Are we in agreement? Well, you go ahead and finish your point. That, and that's just a question. That's a restep. Okay. Yeah, I know. So I'm, I'm just asking this go question. Ahead. Was Jesus born out of Mary? Do I get to reply now? Because yes. there's a lot that's bound up in that. Because yeah. I don't okay. think that there's... So let, me, let me clarify. When I talk about that, that whole area of discussion, Akita, Kalam, all that, I'm not saying you adopt that. All I'm getting See? at is that this, this is that whole area of discussion that gives rise to all of this. The, what I said was that as Christians, we believe the persons of the Trinity, as to their divine nature and essence, co-inhere in the one divine being. My question to you was, does Allah's attributes, which you say are inseparable from him, have, uh, do they enter into his creation? Now you said, and, and see this is where I think it's being flipped. You said they don't become part of his creation. I'm not asking if they become part okay. of his creation. I'm asking if his, since Allah himself can't enter into creation, well, I nevertheless, didn't say that, but... nevertheless you would say that his attribute of seeing is present. Yes. Okay. But is Allah present? So do you mean present physically in that? Or do, uh, let me... So if you mean is Allah present in knowing everything and seeing everything and hearing everything, then yes, Allah sees everything hears everything and knows everything. Okay, can I finish? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us about himself, his nuzul and all that he has said, we believe in it as he has revealed it. Okay, but we don't mix the creator and the creation. Now, you, you, you went around my question, you said you were going to answer but you didn't. Was Jesus born from Mary's womb? So, again, just remind me if I don't get to this part. Because okay. I'm trying to make sure you're, you're trying to build on where we're at, and I'm just trying right. to make sure we're at the same so spot. Pretty simple question there. Yeah, it was simple, right. but I haven't even tried to answer it. Yet. I so, wish you would. So, what I'm saying is, what is it then about Allah that isn't present if his attribute of seeing is, is here? Okay. And there's a sense in which you can say he's here in the sense of seeing, okay. but he's not here in what sense? Okay. And then, do you want my answer to the other part? Yes. Okay. Jesus, because we don't believe that God is absent from his creation, he's upholding all things. There's no sense in which he could be absent. He's not his creation. Right? He's not any part of it. Okay. Right? When we say that God is present, we don't mean that he is the things that are here. He is present upholding everything. Everything is upheld by his power. So nothing could be apart from him. It exists by virtue of him. When the Son of God takes on a human nature, it's not the Son of God now entering creation for the first time. He's already present God is omnipresent classically, according to Judaism and Christianity. The Son of God is now taking into union with himself a human nature, and by virtue of that is being born. It's not his divine nature, that's, it's not coming into being, it's not starting to exist at that point, it's not uh, in some sense now becoming present, whereas before it wasn't. Does that address what you were asking? No, not at all. So then what were you asking? Okay, so my question very simply, was Jesus born from Mary's womb? That was the simple question. Yes, well that's the answer is yes. That, and, okay, that's the answer, yes. 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 Okay, so let me understand this now, a deeper understanding. God, who is not separable, so he is still God, was in the belly of a woman and came out of the womb of a woman. God did. God took on a human nature and it was really born. So, so, so your belief is that that one great creator came out of the womb, the vagina of a woman. Absolutely. Right, well, thank you. Yeah. Have a nice day.
Bob have, going to, Roger? Right? Yeah. Let me let Someone me explain. Wait, 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 let me, wait, 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 let me, wait, wait, You want me to answer him? Oh yeah, uh, you can answer him. But what I'm getting at is, don't, okay. don't pretend that you've refuted Christianity just because oh, okay. you, you've so, rolled your eyes at it. Let me. This is this is the historic Christian position, okay. which your religion later came along and claimed that it was confirming and correcting at, at points of its departure, what you believe from what was originally true. You don't refute Christianity by eye rolling. Surely you know that, right? What is your argument against that? Okay. Do you want me to speak? Yeah. Okay. I'm not here to refute Christianity. I'm not here to debate. I'm here to give dawah. I am a da'i, not a debater. You misunderstood it. If you wanted to come and debate, you can come and debate. No problem. Let me explain this. When I said, thank you very much, that means in my mind, it, and, and anybody I think who has basic logic would not believe that the creator of the universe was born through the vagina of a woman. I, 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 that's me. That, that's my belief. If you believe that, I respect your right to believe that. To me, that doesn't make any sense. And let me let me finish. Take it easy, crook. Take it easy. Stop jumping. Take okay, it easy. Shooter, so on. thank Start you. Shooting. I'm, I'm shooting. Shoot. But, yeah. So, so here, to me, that makes absolutely no sense. To think that the creator of the universe was now, and, and he still is, even if he's in human form, because he said he still won, was in the womb of a woman, and came out of the vagina of a woman, uh, uh, this is the creator of the universe. To me, that doesn't make sense. To me, that's a sense. human. Is that makes sense to you? Is it my turn? Hold on. It didn't. So, so now it's my turn, right? Go ahead. Now let me just explain to you guys a critical issue. Sure. If, any, if anybody takes a basic class in logic, rhetoric, or anything like that, and I'm not saying you haven't. I, I think you're a smart guy. I'm not, Thank you. I appreciate not, that. That's not even me being disingenuous. I think he's a smart guy, and I say that about people all the time. I think people can be smart that I disagree with. Sure. But you do know that there's a difference between making an assertion and making an argument. Sure. It's, it's an assertion to say that doesn't make sense. Sure. And to say that you think nobody who says that is even being logical or is logical or what have you. Sure. The vast majority of people on the planet happen to believe that or something along those lines. Yes, and I've heard you say things to that effect. Vast majority? Yeah. That, that would be more than 50% you're no, no, saying. No, 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 but what I'm saying is... I don't think Christians are more than 50% no, no, no. of the planet. What I'm saying is, so first of all, in, in history, Christians have been a majority. But, but, no, but I, what I'm saying is there are other groups that would say things that you would think are analogous to that. Do you not? Don't Do you, you want me to that? answer? Okay, I'm just listening. See, like, okay. see, David asked you to be, I'm Go listening. Ahead. Okay. First thing, the vast majority taking something or not taking, not, doesn't really matter to me. Second thing, I didn't make an argument. I gave you my opinion. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. That was my All point. Right. That Good. was my point. And, but, but, I, and I wasn't arguing that the majority makes it. You see how you cut me off again? No. I, I, David. No, this is David, the point come on. Be fair, bro. Come on, David. He needs your help. Uh, he needs uh, the help of you, you need it. You, he, he, you need his help. You, you need. You see this? Yes. You see this? Don't take you the guys see this? for your friends. You see this? Come on now. You don't need his help. You see this? You don't he just, need his David, help. You, this is what you came to represent? Come on, guy. We're still Seriously, talking. David? We're still talking. <laughs> You're not. We're not talking because you keep cutting me off, bro. No, no. I'm just saying we're. this is this is what we've established now. You have only rolled your eyes at it. I, when I said me, when I said the majority have held this, I'm not making an argument here either. Okay. I'm just saying it doesn't. That's not an argument, and so you, I think you need to do something better. Than First that. thing, the majority of, of the world today is not Christian. All right. This, this is. I mean, if you have two By billion out of seven just, billion, that's not a. The, well, no, no, okay. Yeah, so, in that so, so the majority would not believe. Yes in Jesus being born because Hindus and others would also not believe in that but as was, Muslims, okay? So let me just clarify that, right? If you can, right? Well, I think we're good, we're good, right? So, so, so that, that doesn't even make sense, first off, what you're saying, right? Because you're saying the majority would believe that concept of Jesus being born and that's not true, right? So let's leave, you know, misconception out of it because that's not true to begin with, right? No, no, that's not how I intended it. Though. But you, you, that's what you said. Let, let me just clarify. I think okay. he's saying that you saying, you know, if you say something like, well, that just sounds weird or crazy no, no. to me. He's saying most On of the, the world, concept of God being born out of the yeah, vagina of a woman. Most find that absurd, even uh, if they don't believe it. Really? I, I don't know. How, how, wait, hold on, hold on. Can I, I, who who am I dealing with here? Because you guys are all jumping in and out. Can I deal with one, two, three, four? But you seem to want to avoid the points. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm getting to the point, okay. right? So the point is to say the majority of the world 
does not have an objection to God being born out of the vagina of woman is not correct because that's a Christian belief. Hindus, for example, and I've spoken to many, would not agree with that concept, right? Neither would Muslims, neither would some Buddhists, depending on who they are, neither would Jews. Many Jews would disagree, right? So that's well, your statement was factually incorrect. My but that's not really the point. No, it is. Okay, go ahead. Try and move on, then I get to respond to that. Let's go ahead. The point was conceptually. You're, you're making the category mistake of people accepting okay. it as true and people accepting it as, as logical or rational. Something can be false and okay. still be logical, right? Let me give you an example. Sure, I'm listening. It's, it's not irrational for somebody to be walking down the street right now with an umbrella. That doesn't mean somebody is walking down the street with an umbrella. That, there's a difference between making something that's logically possible uh, as a claim and somebody making a factually true statement. Okay. What I was getting at is that conceptually the world has not held that. When you enlist people like Jews, for example, that's not really helping because Jews, how many Jews are there in the world? Uh, you know that, uh, you know, as well as I do, there's not that many in the world and certainly not compared to either Islam or Christianity. The vast majority of people have not considered the Christian belief irrational that the creator could enter into his creation or be present in his creation which is basically the same idea. The vast majority have not thought that, even if the vast majority have not believed it. Although I would say statistically, more people are Christian than there are Muslims or other religions. Can I speak now? Yes. See how I listen? Right. Great. You no. did a good job. Thank you. Um, <laughs> let's see if you can. Okay. okay. So no. now, when you said the vast majority of the, of the world has does not agree with what I'm saying, right, or has no problem with that concept, you have no evidence for that. You're making an assumption. Let me speak because the vast majority is not Christian, right? And the other groups of faith, you're making an assumption on their behalf, which I am only assuming for myself. I said to me, that doesn't make sense, right? I didn't make a claim that the vast majority of the world would agree with me. But when you say the vast majority, again, this guy, man, this guy. Are you okay? You're I'm okay. No, 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 no. Look, look, this is the, look how I listened when he was no, speaking. Kind of you said every little right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 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 so I am dealing with the issue, right? The issue is that your claim is wrong because you're making an assumption about the vast majority of the world. But again, like David said, I think you're just going off just because you took a tangent. You. Right? No, I'm this talking, about, talking about me. I was talking about, talking about me or him. Whole no, I'm talking about the whole this the whole the whole discussion. Okay. So, so, I, so think, I think I think I mean it, I think the point he's, he's simply making mm -hmm. is Hindus, of course, reject Christianity. But sure. It's not on the base. They're not saying we reject it because it's absurd to think of God being born. Right. Because if their scripture said it, they would say, okay, we, we have no problem. But you're making an assumption on the Hindu belief that they would accept that. I, I'm thinking of what Hinduism teaches. Right. They but, believe, but, but they believe again, all kinds of things like Christian. Right. Sure. And that that shows that they would not have a problem again, with that in I, itself. Again, I will not make an assumption if they would or would not believe in Islamic doctrine was in their books. And you should not make an assumption that they would or would not believe a Christian no. doctrine that would be in their books. But first I was yeah. responding Ooh. to you. First I was responding to you saying nobody would believe this or this is absurd, it's illogical, logical people wouldn't believe this. And I'm pointing out to you the vast majority of people have not found that conceptually. Where is that correct. evidence for that? The, 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 the evidence for it is that you don't have it. That's the whole point. I didn't make no, the claim, no, you did. No, no, no. You made you made the claim that the vast majority of people would see that as illogical. Did I, David? Yes, we got it on tape. Did I okay. make that claim? So, so wait, wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 so wait, wait, wait. We, we got this on tape. We're okay. no, no, wait, 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 tape. wait. David, what's your name? Lewis. Lewis. Let's just be honest here. Did I make the claim that the vast majority of the world would find it objectable? Illogical. Did I make that claim? Illogical. Illogical. Did I make that claim, Lewis? I didn't hear you make that claim. Thank you. David, did I make that claim? Even stand uh, here. I'd have to look at the footage. So. Yeah, yeah, did I? It doesn't It is relevant because okay. when you see... Hold on, Dave. Anthony. Bro, you, listen. When you are trying to put words in my mouth no, and no, no, claiming that I slow made down. claims that I didn't make, and your friend David and your friend Lewis there also yeah. know better, even no. if no. he wasn't here, he then he's out. But David was standing here the whole time, yeah, and we got it on time. tape. Yes, I did not make that claim. Okay, I repeatedly. Can we get back to a point yeah, of substance? Okay, let me say this. You, you, you let me guys say this. move the point let, then. Let's so. just, let, let's the vast majority of people on the planet happen to believe that or something along those lines. Yes, I think you're kind of making this an issue of bad faith, meaning like there's ill will here, okay? Well, there is when you put words in my mouth, right? Listen, this is what I'm trying to tell okay. you. Okay. 
It's. I don't think I'm wrong. I think I heard you accurately. Okay. It's possible I'm wrong. I'm willing okay. to grant that. I'm certainly not saying it because I'm trying to put words in your mouth. Right. right. It's, well, it's possible. Right. Jesus. Right. No. Listen. What? Listen. Are you trying to? Here are you here. trying to go here somewhere here. else here, Louis? No. You, you guys need to pick who's going to speak because now he's brought up a topic okay. that he's trying to take a shot right here. Right. One. Good. One guy. Books are sorry. Good, by the, the way. They will be okay, but um, but can you guys can you as a group pick who's going to be the one speaking? You're, you're, no, no, I'm serious. Jabs. I'm, I'm, no, no, no. I'm, <laughs> you, you guys are trying to throw jabs that if I respond to you now, then he's going to tell me I'm getting off topic. So you you guys need to you guys need to referee this first. No, you did throw a jab. You said the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam put words, words of, Jesus. of Jesus. That's a jab because like that's that. not true. But you don't like that's that. a false statement. So Muhammad that's a false Jesus statement. accurately? Yes. Okay. okay, so now this is this is, this is how you're trying to take the discussion to a de language. separate. Do you want me to respond to you now? Is this a discussion now? Or, or are you going to tell well, me? Are you hijacking this discussion? No, well, Thank you, David. I'm, I'm not shaking. Okay. You're shaking. So and, I, and I'll shake all you guys. Oh, okay. That's why you're jumping in because okay, so you know this is getting bad for you. Let's, right. get, let's get back to yeah, so, 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 so David, the question. I'll tell you what. Listen. Was the virgin birth, the son of God, God, okay. and yeah. Islamic so, views on, excellent. on so, the nature of God. So, right. Let, let, let's let David referee this, all right? Because I don't want then him okay. to be jumping and him but to be you jumping. you understand what I was saying? Oh, I do understand right what you're now. saying. Yeah. That, that even if you think I got you wrong, it doesn't have to mean that I'm Excellent. trying to make you look. Better, I appreciate that, right? Because that's Thank not you. what I'm trying to right. do. Thank you. Right. Okay. All right. So let me and let you referee, because I don't want to then be having you guy and this guy, right? I know you guys are all excited. It's good. Okay. Right. Now. I'm not going to speak for Hindus, I'm not going to speak for Jews, I'm not going to speak for the most of the world, that I let them speak to what they believe, even in Islamic doctrine, I'm not going to make claims about them, okay? As myself, as a Muslim, as Uthman standing here, I'm telling you, to me, if you come and tell me that the basis of your religion is that God put himself, that he impregnated a woman named Mary, and she became then his mother. He impregnated his mother and came into the womb of, of Mary and then was born out of a vagina. To me, the conversation's over. Your religion to me has no appeal because to me that just that's just disgusting and doesn't make sense. My personal view, right? I respect your right to have your now, view. Now, do you think, and I'm not going to get into that now, but do you okay. think that I find certain things about Islam sure. repugnant or attractive or not? Sure. Okay. Do you think that it would be rational for me to reject Islam on the basis of my personal revulsion? Okay. Do you want me to answer? Yeah. Okay. Your personal belief has to do with you. Mm -hmm. If you don't like something in Islam, you have the right to reject. Mm -hmm. you, you, I didn't come up to you at your table and bring this. You came to me, so you right? You technically invited I, I us. Did. I you did. I did. Technically and, invited us. Can I? Can I? So, I invited you. You came. You presented your view. To me, it doesn't make sense. I reject it, right? Mm -hmm. You came. If you want, I will give you the Islamic view. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like it, you can reject and walk up, yeah. have a nice day in Java Park. So, so my invitation for this conversation, I, the, I'm not here to debate. As I said earlier, I'm a da'i, not a debater. Mm -hmm. If anybody wants to debate like you apparently do, you're welcome to come here. But if I disagree, if I feel that this doesn't I mean, God coming in the vagina of a woman and being born and the universe and he's his, God put his nose again, look at, look at this, look at this guy. Now, David, come on, he man. Not? No, he did not. He put his nose in the vagina of a woman? Who he, blew he, it to Mary's wait, wait, vagina? Wait, 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 where did God put his nose in the vagina of a woman? Who blew it to Mary's vagina? Nobody, he's not asking, God. He's wait, 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 bring, bring me, bring me, no, no, hold on, hold on. Lewis, if, you, if you're going to jump in, then handle it. I thought you knew No, no, you if, you, if you're going to jump in, wait, wait, see, David, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? Exactly. I said people don't jump in, and I asked you to to regulate it, and you did it, and now he jumped in again. I don't control everyone. You brought these people. People with you. Okay. But, but. No, 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 no. Hold on. You guys, you guys are. See, when I, when when I'm at a point, you guys, you guys are letting people. Because now I could, I could totally answer him. But no, no, debate. it's not a debate. It's an answer. Do you, you know what the I difference is? No, no, you didn't. You made a false statement. Right? Bring me evidence. Let people Bring me evidence. How that God put. Hold on. God put this? His nose he, he in the vagina of woman. My God. Bring me evidence. How about we do this? Well, Bring it when evidence. You and I are done. You have the Quran in your hand. Bring me evidence. When, when you and I you are got done, none. When you are. You when, got none. You're derailed. You're derailed. When, you got none. You tried to derail me. You, you, you know better. Don't lie, man. When you and I are done, yeah. then you guys can do that. Yeah. 
You see, David? When you All, right. Well, All right, let's go back. Hey, okay. Hey, so who's speaking now? I, 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 just, I, just, I just wanted to. Yeah, I just wanted to. I just wanted to kind of clarify. That's the only time I jump in. When, when I, I agree. Start. You can jump in. I'm saying is, can you regulate so we don't have some guy trying to make some yeah, false but, statement here and there? If you can't, yeah, but then, then we're going to make a line. If someone walks up, I can't say you can't speak. That's is he not, not with your place. group? Um, I mean, come on, come on, that, don't, don't lie, no, no, don't lie. No, no. He came earlier to I check out. I, 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 I know him. Yeah, no, you no, know him. He's not with our group. But, so but you I, know I, him, I know right? Yeah. So he knew you were coming or no? Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. <laughs> I, I did not no, no, it, it doesn't. I didn't, I didn't tell him a word. I yeah, no see, you see this? I told no one except my wife and him and I can tell you. him. And did you know he was coming? Did I know who was coming? David Wood. He obviously knew. He obviously knew. Is he again? Now, <laughs> he's the one jumped in. Now you want to talk about sidetracking. All right. We had, Go ahead. This, we had this thing planned and then some things. You did out. have it a plan. So that's what I'm saying. When you here. plan this, then you can yeah. control this, right? Yeah. Well, no, but my, what I'm saying is we okay. had planned that some so, of us were coming here to talk. Let's, let's ignore Lewis then. Okay. If you don't mind, I'm going to put yeah. you on mute. You guys, you right. guys can All right. have the finish. All right. Now, so so I, I, think, I think the issue is, right? Okay. So you obviously want people to learn about Islam yes and you're inviting people to Islam yes and I think the point that Anthony is making is if our response was well we don't like Muhammad and Aisha or we don't like this sure. or that that's fine I think I think your response would be well if it's true you need to believe it anyway and not just because you don't like something right and I think so what he's saying is the question about Christianity should be, is this true? Not, oh, I don't like that idea. So I think that's a, a that's what you're trying to get at. So, right? and, and let me I throw think he put in. that pretty well, and, and David. Let me put this in, because uh, let me because I would agree with. Let me say this. Should I answer him now? But or? This, this goes with that. You, you're not that. Like, well, I mean, I did talk to him. Okay, so can I? This, this goes with that. Is I, that I, the point you're making? Let me, let me, let me. Yeah. So what I'm saying is though, is if you could show me, for example, mm -hmm. well, I give you an example. I think you would agree with this as a logical you know, manner of procedure. If there was something I didn't like in Islam, mm -hmm. but somebody could demonstrate, let's say, that the source on which that claim is based is true, came okay. from God, right? Okay. Like the Quran or the Hadith, or some particular Hadith, then in my mind, it doesn't matter whether I have some natural reaction to this or not, I ought to believe it. And I'm saying the same thing when it comes to Christianity and Christian claims. Okay. If the Bible proclaims this, and the Bible's the Word of God, and I know you don't hold that, obviously. You do. Right? Yeah, of course I do. And I know you think it has contradictions, and I know that all the standard ones you think that you have and all that, and I, and I have all my reasons for thinking the Quran has contradictions. I mean, I know the back and forth claims. You've done this for years, you've done this for years. I'm just saying, with what he said, I think there's something more for both of us than simply, that's distasteful to me. I don't think that makes sense, right? There's, there's got to be something behind your reason for being a Muslim beyond, I like it. Are you done? I just, I just want to add an example. I just want to add an example. So, uh, because I mentioned, because I mentioned, you know, like Muhammad and Aisha. So if I said, you know, I find that problematic or something like that, if you somehow show that Islam is true, in my mind, my mind, the way I think, I would be like, okay, well. If this is from God and I've got a problem with that, then I'm the one with the problem. I'm the Good. one with the problem, all right. and I need to believe God. So, yeah, that, that's that's all he's saying. If, if God says, if right. God says, hey, I'm entering creation, who are we? Yeah, then who are we? Okay. So, just now, I want to understand, and I want to have a productive conversation. Here, okay. First thing, what, the misconception that I think you might have that I'd like to clarify is, if you come. I'm here to present Islam to you, okay? And if you decide that there is some core concept, like the marriage of Aisha is not an aqidah concept, right? So that's something totally different, right? But a core concept of Islamic aqidah, Allah is one, okay? Allah sent prophets, Allah sent books, Allah sent guidance, Allah is merciful, Allah will judge, there's the day of judgment, uh, there is, you know, if you believed that that was something problematic to you, I would present it, then I would tell you it's up to you. Hidayah is not from me. Guidance, I'm translating, is not from me, it's from Allah. Allah gives guidance, right? Ma alina illa balagul mubin. It is not upon us except to convey the message clearly, right? So, if you disagree with something in the core aqidah of Islam, you have the right not to believe. Go enjoy your day at Babwa Park. I'm not pushing. You feel me, David? Okay, you feel me, Crook? Good. <laughs> sure, sure. All right. But now, I'm not done, bro. Let me let whoa, me continue. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I listened to both of you the whole time. Go I didn't I didn't ahead. even get to his answer yet. Thank you. I All right. You were done. No, I'm not. 
All right. So now, when we get to the core concept of God coming into the womb of a woman and being born and then being sacrificed for our sins, so, so He takes the sins of mankind and instead of us being responsible to me, all of that makes no sense. Right? To me, personally, it doesn't make sense. To me, I don't believe that's from God. Right? I don't believe that's a just God that somebody pays for everybody else's sins, right? To me, that's not just. And I have a core hard belief that Allah is just. Okay? So, in that case, if you are here to present Christianity, no thank you, have a nice day. So, by the same token, because mm -hmm. again, I mean, all we're doing now is exchanging, you know, feelings. We're not. You said that certain Sean. things are contrary to your particular constitution, mm -hmm. right? Your makeup causes you to, you know, I have that same feeling towards Islamic beliefs. And I've tried to be gracious in this. I, appreciate I know it. what you find, you know, disreputable with sure. respect to Christianity. But I equally look at things in Islam and I say, for example, that to me is quite questionable. Like? For example, the idea that Allah has loins. Have you ever heard this claim? You want me to, you want me to tell you or you want to finish well, first? So I'll finish. I'm just, so okay. here, the idea that Allah has loins as part of his characteristics, his sifat, that he has a shin, that this is going to be an identifiable, uh, identifiable sifat, attribute, uh, uh, that by which people are going to believe in him on the final day. Uh, a number of other notions associated with that. I have, I find problematic the notion of a religion that would object to God entering into his creation, even though in various Islamic sources, it seems to borrow from Jewish and Christian beliefs the things that, that you're objecting to, like Allah entering into his creation. Does Allah not descend to the lowest heavens in the third part of the night? Uh, does Allah, you know, not, did he not speak to Moses at the right side of Mount Sinai, Surah 19, Surah 20, 27, 28? Do we not find these beliefs? So you have, you find objectionable that God entered into his creation. I'm saying God's always present with his creation. The virgin birth is not God entering into his creation. It's God now entering, uh, taking into union with himself a human nature and living a real human life, including all of the experiences that go along with that, being born, you know, suffering, dying, rising again, and so forth. So, so, all, so just remember, here's the basic point, mm -hmm. right? Well, even if you don't agree with my illustrations here, right? My basic point is this. Just because you don't like those ideas doesn't mean I don't like certain ideas in Islam. And, I, uh, and, and there has to be more to it than just, I don't like that, you don't like that, you know. I, this isn't, like, doesn't, doesn't Muhammad in the Quran say, let us reason, let us argue, let us debate? Didn't Muhammad have debates with the Christians of Najran? Those are all aspects of, now just so you know, no, no, just so you know, don't laugh. Should I start taking notes because you're going on like 10 okay, points. Yeah, this, this no, no, my, I want to take this, notes on okay. each point. So this, I'm saying like, instead of going okay. point by point, we're going point. to loins what you, and... What do you want him to respond to? Okay. Yeah. So, so this is my last point. Okay. <laughs> this is actually something I like about Islam, so don't take this away from me. All right. The fact that Muslims, in contrast to other religions, are so willing to engage. Excellent. It's the, it's the one thing, not the one thing. I'm not going to say there's nothing I'm else. sure you like a lot of things yeah. about Islam. So, like what I'm beer. saying is... The you one like the thing, beer? I know. You know you like Islam. Man. He know he likes it. <laughs> You know he goes make so dua to Allah at the I'm end. I'm telling you the truth. Listen to this. You can put this on your YouTube channel. Don't worry. When I look, uh, yeah, yeah, no when I look at uh, you know a Jewish person, mm -hmm. sometimes I think I wonder if he'd like to talk to me about religion, about the Lord. Yeah. Maybe not. Yeah. Probably not. I look at another person, Hindu. Yeah, he's probably going to be upset that I'm interrupting his walk down the road. Right. I look at a Muslim. I say he'll talk to me. Yeah. He'll talk to me. He'll okay. argue with me. He'll I'm reason glad. with me. I'm, you know what? And, and to respond to that compliment, first off, I, I also appreciate the fact that Christians and Muslims can usually have a civil conversation. All right? So, second, just to make a clarification, you said Muhammad said in the Quran. The Quran's not the words of Muhammad. I so that's. Yeah, but I know that's not right? So, I'm just clarifying. Muhammad's not. Muhammad doesn't say anything in the Quran. The Quran speaks to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So I don't think he was speaking to himself. So let's move forward from there. Secondly, you made a lot of things like loins and sifat and shin. So I don't know if you want me to get into all of that because see, that's what I'm saying. Like I, I want to say point by point and not have jumps here and there. No, no, no. Let me. Oh, come on, man. He spoke. I'm not trying to cut him off. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let, let's be gracious no, no. to our guests it's, that came from so far away. It's not me go ahead. To cut you off. I'm just saying I didn't need you to respond to those points. I'm just, you do. Those were illustrations. No, but of, they're wrong. 
But, okay. So we, I do so, need to respond. But what I'm saying is you can say they're wrong, but they, I didn't bring them up in order for us to resolve those. I know, but... I'm saying those are things I find see, objectionable Anthony, in the Islamic sources. Crook, bro, Shooter, if, if, that's what I'm saying. So if, I t <laughs> if I'm having this conversation and suddenly I'm like, there's an alien sitting over there, and you're like, what? And I'm like, no, no, don't respond to that. No, when, you throw, when you throw misconceptions out, then I have to respond to them just like Lewis, right? Uh, so let's, so let's, let's talk about the lines uh, in the shin. Okay, right. excellent, let's excellent. Let, let's get there, okay? okay. But let, let's go back to the first first point because then we're just jumping right as a lot of Christians do but I'm hoping we will not right you're saying God was always present so Jesus in every by that by himself in his creation so that Jesus coming in the womb of the Mary was not something new which really is something baffling to me are, are you saying God physically like Jesus physically was in the womb of Mary is in your Private? I mean, is that your you belief? That? Yes, please. We don't believe that God is a physical being as to his divine uh, nature. Okay. So, so mean, God is not, not physical. I'm not sure why that's funny. But do you, guys, do you guys think God is physical? Do you want me to respond well, now? Or? I, somebody's laughing. I okay, that. so let me, do you want me to respond? Think, I, you I, asked I, a question, do you want me to answer it then? No, not yet then. Okay. Let me just say real quick. Real quick. <laughs> All right, I don't go ahead. think that God's divine nature is a tangible stuff. I don't think that God is, we can't touch him, smell him, feel him, see him. Uh, he doesn't have extension in space. Will uh, you see God? Uh, so, by virtue of the incarnation, number In one, the day of judgment. By virtue of the incarnation, God has taken on human form. So he so is physical. He, his human nature, which he assumed in the womb of the Virgin Mary, is physical. So God... It shouldn't be puzzling. That's it is puzzling. Classic, it is puzzling. It's still you, puzzling. We, we shouldn't be learning it right now. Uh, I've, I've heard it many times. Okay. It's still, if somebody tells me 2 plus 2 is 5, they could tell me that a hundred times. It'll still that's be puzzling analogy. to me. Yeah, I don't think uh, that's look, true. I'm making a statement about my understanding, so don't think right. it's a false analogy. I'm saying, to me, if somebody was to tell me 2 and 2 is 5, it would be puzzling even if I heard it a million times. I'm talking about myself, so it's not mm -hmm. a false analogy. But Let me explain to you. I'm talking about my feelings there, guy. Calm down there. All right? Now. Two plus two aren't your feelings. How I feel about that is my feelings. Go ahead. Go ahead. See, this guy just can't, man. This guy. All right. This guy. Come so. On. Let me go. He did have a lot to respond okay, to. No, Thank you, Dave. Man, yeah, I can't believe Mr. Hammer is the one that actually is. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate it. Come You're on. the good guy. Wow. Well, right. Even it out, though. We Come cool. On. We there cool, we man. I'm waiting for Sam, but it's all right. Uh, Asumu, I'm sorry. Asumu. His name uh, is Asumu. Just, just, so, just so, you know, so you know, I, I can't by... control Sam. <laughs> oh, I, I bet you can. And let me say this. His name is Sam. There are people who intentionally call him by his full name when he prefers to go by Sam. What did his parents and name it's him? And it's intended to be insulting. Oh, I didn't to mean to insult him. I'm not saying he's okay. insulted. Okay. I'm just telling you that people that perhaps have told you to call him that Nobody might, told might me to not call have either that. known or might have known. Okay. But just, just what did his parents name him? Uh, I'm assuming his full name is uh, Hassan. I'm, okay. I'm not saying he I takes that offensive. Okay, if he doesn't, that's all good. If he does, I won't I'm call just, him that. I'm just okay. telling you that. So let's let's go back to. So, when you say that God manifested in the womb of a woman into a human form, and then that was God inside the womb. So God was physically a baby in the womb of a mother, and then God, the Creator of the universe, He's still all together physically came out of the womb of a mother to me again that and I don't know if anybody else finds that troubling but well, what I, do you, what's I, the I, troubling part what's the argument all of it <laughs> it's not an argument again you I'm saying okay. can, I, can I ask one question for clarification and this is just it, I just want to know what you're saying are you saying that God can't do that or he just wouldn't do that excellent because there's so, a difference there's sure things I can't Sunday. do and things I just wouldn't do agree so when we talk about God, and, and you guys have debated with atheists, so you already know that whole God can't lift a rock thing, right? That there are certain things that are against the nature of the greatness of God as it is, right? Th from that, that God, if you can say, can't get, can God made a rock he can't lift? Well, that doesn't, it's not only a question that you ask, because from the nature of God is greatness, right? That he's able to do all things, right? So it's like saying, can Anthony be uh, a, a man and woman at the same time, which uh, now we're nowhere in California, but it ain't happening, bro, right? Right. So, so that there's right. So from the nature, um, uh, they're one or the other, whatever they think they are. All right. So, all right. So here we go to to me that goes against the nature of God, right? Because this is this is something that is human, born from wombs and breastfeeding and burping and peeping and pooping. This is not something I can attribute to God. Right? In my belief, right? In what I understand to be correct. Again, and I love to have a conversation, and we're having a conversation, but like I said, uh, I'm not going to force Islamic belief on you. 
If you have an issue with creed, aqeedah, then you have the right not to believe it. It's your right. Allah will judge between me and you. It's not a problem, right? But my job is to present, okay? So in your presentation that I asked you for, and I appreciate the presentation that God physically, not, you know, by seeing or sight, was in the womb of a woman, came out of vaginas, that's against the nature of God in what I see. Okay, that, and that again, again, that's my personal belief. So, not so just just to give the the simple version. When he asked, can he do it or would he do it? Which one of those were you addressing there? So, to me, it sounded like you, in some sense, were addressing both. But I think the fundamental claim is that he can't do it. It's against his nature. Yeah, and, Thank and, you. And for, is that right? For, for, sure. For, for I mean, as, as an example, like if you were to ask me, can God ride a bicycle? Right. I would say, well, I don't think he would. But he could, if he wanted to, for some reason, God could take on a form right. and ride a bicycle. Uh, just like, you know, for t if you're talking about, you know, the Quran and uh, Allah speaking on the fire, I don't know what, it, what you believe there. I believe God could do that. I do so too. So it's, it's a, it's a, it, okay. there's that distinction. Sure. I believe so God me... can enter into his creation in the form of a human being or... Okay. God's more along the lines of, well, I have the power to do that, but there's no way I would do that. It's beneath me or something like right. that. So, so let me just give you an example, right? And I think it'll clarify this, right? Do you believe God would have sexual intercourse with a woman? I believe God has the power to do that if he wanted to, but he, he wouldn't he wouldn't want to because of his moral his moral nature. Thank you. So let's I mean let's say a wife. Not, not, it's not immoral to have sex with a wife, right? I mean you have a wife, I'm assuming. Right. So I'm sure you have intercourse, right? Lots. Right. I don't, she might watch the video and put a different comment. Take it easy. All right. Yeah, all right. So now the point, <laughs> the point there being that that's not immoral, right. right? So would God do that? Get wife and have sex with her? Yeah, but again, it's not a question of power or ability. It's a, it's a question of he, he just. He, he wouldn't it's do against that. his nature, right? Yeah. So is that, is thank that, you. Is that, 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 what you're, is that what you're saying? No, saying, okay, hold saying. Hold on. I'm asking you if somebody was to ask you, can God get married and have sex with a woman? I would, what would, I would you clarify, say? say, as far as power, God has the ability to do anything that doesn't entail a contradiction or a couple of qualifications like that. Um, as far as things that he would actually do, he's not going to contradict his own moral nature. Thank right? you. So I would say again, God would not contradict his own nature by being born out of the vagina for woman. And so we're on the same when page. You say, when you say that he wouldn't contradict his nature, you're thinking more in terms of metaphysical quality. I, what I mean here is just his greatness, for example. You're not thinking mostly in terms of moral categories. You're thinking in terms of greatness, uh, so, this sort of thing is beneath him. I think the... So I, I, I think is, I, that, I, is that correct? Let me answer. Yeah. Okay. So I think I, I gave the answer exactly with the analogy that I gave, right? Okay. Just like Anthony, if I was to ask you, right, as I asked David, could God get a wife and have sexual intercourse with her? You would say that's against the nature of God, right? I'm assuming, right? So what I would say... Oh, what would you that, say? That's why I was trying to clarify. Were you, were you making it more metaphysical or moral? My answer is... Would God do this sort of thing? You're saying it's contrary to his greatness. And my whole point is precisely that's why Jesus needed to become a human being. Because the sorts of things that Jesus did are otherwise outside of the parameters of what is possible within his divine right. nature. God, for example, cannot die. How Good. can he die then unless he took a human nature? Okay. Right? So, so what I'm getting at is you're not presenting a contradiction so much that God couldn't do this. You just think that your God wouldn't do this. So it's not so much a metaphysical problem as it is for you something else. That's what it Should seems I, to me. So, yeah. so you are saying that God could and did have sex with a woman? Uh, if, if, Jesus, <laughs> that, that, if Jesus wanted to get married, absolutely. Do you think it's contrary to the nature of God for people to have these... So let me put it this way. Uh, let me, let you're this saying way. God did have sex with no, a woman? No, 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 So when I was saying no, you, you jumped all, out, right? No, 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 that's did, not all I said. So he, can I, he said yes before you finished. So, so, you, so said, you, you see? You said, you said, uh, you said... Uh, you said Come so on, you even say, it out, even it out, come on. <laughs> so you see why you should let me finish before no, you say yes? You say, I, no, I right, David? Yeah, right, see, David? No. See, it's too late. You just, you just, you, you're Muslim okay. right? no. <laughs> Should we no, do the Shahada now or later? No, so listen. So, <laughs> that's, look, that's, look, I don't think that's why, why don't you let me finish what I'm saying before you respond? I, okay, How about ahead, that? Because, I know what you were saying. No, you didn't. Go ahead. Because Go ahead. I was saying, do you think God could have sex with a woman? And you said he did. 
Oh, uh, uh, okay. uh, uh, what? Okay, no, what, Anthony? That's no, no, true. No, you're right. If you're right, uh, man. No, no, no. Are you, are you, right. What are we doing? I, no, no, we, no, that's, we, fine. No, that's fine. I think yeah, you, you I said. You, yeah, I thought, I thought you said. Do you, again, I think you added something on after he started to answer you. Because uh, I you, hadn't you finished. Saying, yes, you were saying. Uh, do you I didn't God, add anything. Do you think God could have sex with a woman? And Anthony was saying, if that were part of his plan, that once he had entered creation as Jesus of Nazareth, then okay. as a human being, he would have the ability to do that. Yeah. So, like so that. let me say Interesting. That. That's let, a new thing, too. Let, I, I've, I've never let, heard a Christian say that before. Let, let me so explain let something. Me, Can I oh say man, this? Oh. No, no, I didn't have to finish because we got... We How about got, he and then... You're answering him. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. No, come on. We, we can have fun here, Okay, guys. go ahead. This have fun. Have Let's have fun. Man. Yeah. I'm having fun. Yeah. So let me explain something about our view of morality. I, I don't know where you're at on this. With, uh, we'll find in, out. In terms of the uh, nature of man, right? Obviously, we all agree he's man's a creature. He's dependent on God, doesn't exist apart from God, would stop to exist if God willed him to stop existing, right? Uh, man, if God willed for man to stop existing, he would stop existing, right? Do you to... No, 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 but what okay. I'm getting at is this. <laughs> we believe man was made in the image of God, and so man is to reflect God in his character. Image doesn't mean man looks like God, right? That's not what we mean. But we believe that man has certain characteristics that are, uh, you know, man, unlike other creatures, can reason, can know its creator, can worship him, at least in a in the way that man can. That's not true. You know, other creatures, I'm not saying everything, everything glorifies God. We all agree on that, right? What I'm getting at is the morality that we have is a reflection of what God is like. The reason we're to have no other gods is because there are no other gods, right? Good, I'm with that. One God. Right. No kids, second no parents. Second commandment is don't worship idols or worship God. We would say, in fact, if you're Salafi, you're closer to my view on this. We are not to worship God in any other way other than what he has commanded. Right? We agree on that. I'm right? just listening. Right, okay. I think we agree on that. I'm just going to tell you. Like we can't invent You're Salafi? Things. We can't. Uh, I, I, you could say I'm a, a we, Salafi version of Christianity. We agree that if we were, I don't, I don't, I don't, we agree that if we were Muslims, we'd probably be Salafi. How, how about this? How about, how about we agree when you become Muslim, you'll become Salafi? How's that? <laughs> you become reformed. Uh, so, reformed in Islam. <laughs> yeah, uh, All right, so, go ahead. So uh, what I'm getting at then is that what we have in morality are a reflection of what God expects us to be like as His creatures, as I'm, His image bearers. I'm going to disagree, but I'm going to let you. Okay. Finish okay. out of respect, but, but so you understand the reason why I say that there's nothing that God approves of that if he became a human being, he would live by that same law. He, I mean, he would reflect that in his character. He wouldn't be an atheist. So right? let me, he wouldn't be uh, an idolater. I mean, that didn't make sense, right? How could he be atheist and you are exactly, God, right? So, exactly. so let me, let me, I'm, so I'm telling you, it reflects can I respond now? But this responds to you, this responds to you <coughs> asking if God became a human being, at least mm -hmm. this is what I was thinking you were asking. Would this be possible for him to do? I'd say yes. Okay. Okay. Now he gets. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Let's let's just go. I didn't know you were okay. timing. I thought. All right. You were. <laughs> that's actually all right, good. Listen. That's actually good. That's good. That's good. It's okay. Uh, you guys can speak. Don't you're worry about it. You're definitely going to want to do that uh, when Sam comes over. He speaks. Gonna, yeah. He he yaps a lot. You say like you know two minutes, two minutes. Everybody. Two minutes, two minutes, something like that. David Wood is saying Sam yaps a lot. Sam, I got you. Talk your ears up. Just so you know. <laughs> I gotta invite you for tea, man. You're cool. All right. You too, Anthony. Thank you. We gotta even it out. Even it out. All right. All right. So. God, the creator, has his set of rules that are separate from us, the creation, okay? Even if God, na'udhu billah, like we seek refuge from Allah from this kind of thing, even if you try to say that God was in on earth, I don't believe that God needed to poop or pee or rest or get angry and lose his senses as humans do. For example, for example, no, let me let me finish, Anthony. There is what we call pleading insanity, right? Like if you go to court and you and, and let, let's say uh, you're married, like for example, and you come home and you find some dude in bed with your wife, and you're like, this is crook, homie. Like you get crazy on him, you you beat him, right? And you go to court, and they say, hey, you know what? You beat a person. You will say, well, I was out of my senses. In a human court, we would accept that. We'd say, hey, you know. 
temporary insanity. We plead insanity, right? We would accept that that's humans, right? So, so, so that's moral because you know you didn't know what you were doing. I don't believe that. That God's God's morality. God's above all of that. Let me finish. Let me finish, Anthony. What am I at? Right? One and a half. One and a half. Right? So, so when God created humans, He made the rules and regulations like marriage and inheritance and sexual intercourse and needs and desires and sex is a desire. You know, getting hungry, getting tired, losing your senses because you're so hungry, you need to eat. Those are human qualities. We don't give those to Allah. So that's why we would not agree on that point. But you didn't even represent my point accurately. Oh, okay. Yeah, my point I thought you did. My point had to do with morality. And, and probably, I did too. I talked about morality. For example, somebody pleading insanity, so we see, morally accept. But I don't think we should morally accept that. Really? Okay, so let me understand no. your point. A person is either, if a person happens okay. upon somebody sleeping with his wife, he's either justified in taking the person's life or he isn't. Okay, so let's talk about it. Anthony, you come home. Yeah, I'm saying. And you some dude in, your, in, in bed with your wife. What would you do? He's either justified. What would you do? Well, but that's a different question. Why? Because <laughs> you don't want to answer it now, no, Anthony? No, 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 we're asking about the, the question of what's moral. It's not what would you okay, do. Okay, so what, what would you do? Surely because you I'm, I'm, you would act sure morally. I don't think I'm the standard of morality, right? Well, I think you're somebody who tries to be moral, of I course, hope. Of course. Do you, do, you, do you try to live a moral life? But let's, yeah, but both of us recognize, okay. both of us recognize we're creatures. Okay. We make mistakes. Exactly, exactly. Yes. And God is not. Right. So as those, the, those as, feelings... As is God, he is, Good. He's, he's eternal, Perfect. immutable. He doesn't get things. hungry. That's right. He doesn't get tired. But that's he doesn't need to go to the bathroom. Moral issues. No, no, but this, this, again, so that's the thing. He doesn't lose his ability to judge, right? Absolutely not. Okay, I say so that if Jesus you, did. if okay, so when a human being does at certain times, right? But, but you're, you're and morally, you're talking about morality. I'm talking about morality, no, Anthony. Okay. In PA. No, 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 let's talk about this, okay? Let's say somebody, he is unable to. Are you are you looking yeah, over there or I'm looking over you, here? But I heard that. All right, I'm yeah, don't, you. don't worry about it. I'm you making, don't. I'm Allah sure protects us. Don't yeah. worry about it. But God. maybe He protects you by using the, this uh, capital. Uh, a future Muslim, inshallah. <laughs> Tell you. All right. So let's take this. Okay, you get somebody moral, right? A moral human being. Okay. You think Go. Moral? I I believe Isa ibn Maryam was very moral. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Now, if you take a moral human being. As a human being, he can make mistakes, right? Human beings can't make mistakes? Yeah, but that's a, wow. that's a false, that's a false. Wow. I just said, as a human being, we can make mistakes. We can, no, but you were saying you're using this to talk about Jesus. You I'm brought Jesus. No. I'm saying, as yeah. a human but being. Jesus did not. Okay, so let's, let's just talk about humans. Do you think Jesus sinned at all, according to the Quran? Uh, I don't believe that I have any hadith or ayah in the Quran that mentions so Jesus. That. Let me finish. Jesus sinning. But could he, as a human being, make a mistake in judgment? He could. A any human being can. Does the Quran right? say that? That Jesus sure. could make a mistake? Okay. So let me explain it, right? Khulaq al insan al da'ifa, for example, right? Insan has weaknesses. That's in the Quran. And Jesus, if you and me, and at least as a Muslim, I can say he was an insan, he was human, then the Quran tells that he has weaknesses. But Allah has no weaknesses. Separation. Right now, now you feel me. So, as a human being, we make mistakes. We make lapses in judgment that morally we're not held accountable for. Right? That's a lapse in judgment. We're talking about morality now. I'll give you another example. You're driving, right? And you are going a certain speed. You see somebody crossing. You you think that at, at a certain break point you're good. You try to break, but you still hit him. It's an accident. Right? You made a lapse in judgment. You go to court, you say, you know, I tried, they came out of nowhere, I tried to break as much as I could, I made a lapse in judgment, and the, and the court tells you, you know what, you made a lapse in judgment, but it's not a sin. It's not a criminal act. You didn't intend for it to be. So you get a, a pass because you're human. God is not like that. God is perfect. God's judgments are perfect. He doesn't have that human shortcoming of lapse in judgment. Okay, and my response to that is, you're working in terms of an understanding of human nature from the Christian perspective, which is post-fall. Man post is what? Post-fall. You know that we don't agree on the fall, but on. you know what that is. Right? The fall. God made man. God made Adam. Okay. Adam sinned against God. Okay. God didn't make Adam as that already guilty individual. Adam was upright. Okay, I just want to understand this then. So, God made Adam. Right? Mm. And he had the ability to make judgments. Yes. And he, oh, can, I, can I finish, bro? So I when he choose to eat, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. What I'm getting at is, 
you're taking what's true of mankind by virtue of the fall, and you're now applying that to Jesus. Yeah, I don't think Jesus made errors in judgment. I don't think he made moral mistakes. I don't think he made any mistakes. And I don't think the Quran says he does. In fact, I think the Quran makes him an exception to the rule. So all I'm getting at is these sorts of arguments against the Incarnation don't really work. When we say that God became man, and you object and say, but God can't eat. And I'm saying you're missing the point. He's eating because he became man. It's only if God can't become man that he can't eat. So that's not an argument against the idea that God could become man. And so all you're giving me are arguments that presuppose or beg the question against the Incarnation. You understand what I'm saying? At least what I think, you know? Again, so let's go back to this again, okay. right? Saying that God needs to go to the bathroom, right? To me, is against the nature of God. He's, he does have needs. He doesn't. Let me finish now, bro. Let you. How long was that, right? I'll put it in my finger. All right. You keep keep your finger up the whole time. How about that, right? There you go. There you go. It's a shahada finger. Like, take a picture. Future Muslim, right here. I feel you. All right. So, now when you say God having to go to the bathroom is against the point that that is the point that God doesn't have those weaknesses that humans have. Those are against the nature of God to have to use the bathroom, to have to sleep because he's tired, to have to worry about making the right judgment because he, he, he hasn't had enough nutrition. Those things to me, those things and God's perfect nature cannot mix just as, just as we would say, that at least David said, that it would be against the nature of God to get married and have sex and use that it would be so I don't know you guys can work that out at home but but I think that is not the nature of God to have those necessities now you're only reiterating the point that I was asking to address the issue that we're trying to discuss is whether or not God could become man God could become incarnate you're raising objections that presuppose that he couldn't already okay so that's not an argument against it that's known in logic as begging the question so you're saying God as God doesn't eat, doesn't sleep, doesn't die. I agree. It's the, by virtue of the incarnation that God eats, sleeps, dies, and so forth. So that's not an argument against the, the possibility of God becoming man. That's an argument that assumes he couldn't become man. Okay? So, so for example, if, if, I was to, if our argument was, could I get married and have children? And then, you know, you're, you're arguing that I can't, and I'm arguing that I can. And, and I, I, you keep arguing that you, you can't get married and have children because right now you don't have any children. You're not married and so forth. But that wouldn't be an argument against whether I could or couldn't get married and have children. It'd just be an argument that right now I'm not married and couldn't have children. So what I'm asking you, you to address is the fundamental point, could God become incarnate, not, not repeat, if it, God would be going to the bathroom, God would eat, God would sleep, God would die, God would rise again, right, victorious over death, as proof against the incarnation, because that all presupposes the incarnation, and it begs the question that we're actually trying to get to the bottom of. Okay, so let me say this again because I think okay. when me and David were talking you kind of zoomed out because I addressed so the question here again gets to be one of those things that can God make a rock he can't lift well we would answer that by saying that's against the nature of God being all-powerful right uh, I, I would say it's no I would say that's uh, it's God absurd. can no no it, it makes no <laughs> sense to ask, exactly no, no, no listen I'm saying that uh, those two things, you know, a rock so heavy, making a rock so heavy, lift it. Is, yes. Uh, you're asking if he can perform. Illogical feats are not feats at all. Thank you. Right. That's what you're asking. Exactly. But I that's my think, point. I don't think God. <laughs> see, I don't think that God becoming a human being is exactly the same thing. That. You do, right? yeah. and that's why I'm asking you to, Excellent. to, to Thank demonstrate you. that. Excellent. And so all that you're doing is begging the question. No, I'm not. Let me explain it again. Okay. When I ask David, for example. Could we say that God gets a wife and has sex and has children and things like that? You said that would be against the nature of God, right? I meant like God just... Yeah, so like we're just talking about like God. Like, yeah, I'll give you an example, right? And I think it'll clarify this, right? Do you believe God would have sexual intercourse with a woman? 
I believe God has the power to do that if he wanted to, but he, he wouldn't he wouldn't want to because of his moral his moral nature. Thank you. I okay. agree with Anthony's answer that if God had decided after the incarnation to do that, then he'd so, be able to so, so now we're sort of now we're saying God could get married and have sex and have children. I would say if God wanted to do that and that was part of his so, plan so, or something. So let me like ask that, you let me ask you. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. When I ask David, for example, could we say that God gets a wife and has sex and has children and things like that? You said that would be against the nature of God, right? I meant like God just. Yeah, so like we're just talking about God. Like, yeah, I'll okay. give you an example, right? And I think it'll clarify this, right? Do you believe God would have? sexual intercourse with a woman? I believe God has the power to do that if he wanted to, but he, he wouldn't he wouldn't want to because of his moral his moral nature. Thank you. Okay. I agree with Anthony's answer that if God had decided after the incarnation to do that, then he'd so, be able to so, so now we're sort of now we're saying God could get married and have sex and have children. I would say if God wanted to do that and that was part of his so, plan so, or something. So let me like ask that, you let me ask you a simple question, right? Because Let's say a guy comes up to you right now in Balboa Park, right? There's a lot of all kinds of religions here, right? And he comes and tells you, hey, God's married to my mom and has sex with her every night, right? For example, right? Would you believe that? You want the answer? Yeah, go ahead. My answer would be this. And I think this is something that we should have been discussing already. Excellent. We believe that we don't know anything about God okay. apart from God's own voluntary revelation of Himself. Excellent. So we are all beholden to Him. Right? Okay. We are dependent on Him for life and breath as well as anything we know about Him. Right? And anything we know about Him that's true is what He's told us. Anything we think we know independently of that is not something okay. we can know to be true. Now, so what I'm getting at is in the Bible, God revealed himself through the prophets and prepared the world for just what happened in the incarnation. Okay. When it says in Galatians 4, for example, that in the fullness of time, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, made under the law, so that he might redeem those who were under the law, right? This is the point of the incarnation. When he says that, this happened in the fullness of time, he's saying that this is the outworking, the culmination, the fulfillment of what had been revealed through the prophets in long ages past. Okay. Among those passages that teach that, you have, for example, and I know you've heard some of these, Isaiah 9, 6, that he would be the mighty God. <laughs> Jeremiah 23, 6 said that the, the child that would be born would be Jehovah, our righteousness. Malachi 5, 2 says that he would be the one whose origins are eternal, right? He has no beginning, no end. He, he's from of old. So those are the sorts of things that, for me, are necessary in order to adopt the, this belief so that when he fulfills these things, I say, okay, that's the one who was announced. This guy popping up out of the middle of nowhere is not showing up in the fullness of time. Okay. He's not fulfilling prior prophecy. Okay. He's not doing the sorts of things that the Old Testament shows God could do. God appeared to Abraham in Genesis 18. God appeared to Moses in Exodus 3, to numerous prophets. In the Christian view, those things were not only not uh, impossible for God, he revealed that these were possibilities and that they would be a future actuality when Jesus became okay. flesh. So, Anthony, with all due respect, that was just preacher mode. Right? No, no, let me, let me, no. Let, let, the question again is about the, that possibility. So if somebody comes and tells you that, right? Other than saying that it's not in the Bible, right? Which obviously it's not because this is post Bible. Would you say conceptually, that makes sense that God comes, got married to his mom and hits it every night. In, in principle, I've already answered you saying that the incarnation happened. Okay. God became flesh in the womb of Mary and was born of her. So you're and saying fulfilled the prophetic scriptures. Okay. You're asking me if some guy popped up out of the blue. Yes. I think it would be a natural reaction to that sort of thing if you don't have word from God okay. century after century preparing the world for this very event. Gotcha. So when it happens, and then that man, on top of everything else, lives a perfect life. So again, you're, you're avoiding the question. On top, that's not, I'm not avoiding are, the question. Bro. This is the logic of Christianity. This is how that, That's the problem. Well, you think <laughs> so it's a problem, me, but you've yet to demonstrate it. You've begged I'm, the question, I'm, but you haven't answered it. Look, it's a very simple question, bro. And you're, you're going all around. It, right the thing is you know and I know that and, and David knows as well Jedi mind trick now? no, no yeah, yeah, you don't okay. see me so, here right? Right? So, you know come you know on. and I, you know let's be honest hearts. right let's be honest let's be honest right see, if some dude walks up right now and tells you that you're gonna be like you don't know what you're talking about 
right? You're going to tell them God doesn't come and have get married to your mom. You're just making this stuff up, right? This is something that is not in scripture. You, you would go into your whole thing, but you would not believe that because you know that's not the nature of God to be getting a wife here and a wife there and having kids here and half there. God is above all of that, you, right? You're so, imputing beliefs to me, though. You're well, can, can, I, can I add, can I add a, a possible example? Okay. It's good because I think, well, let, let me give you an example. If, if someone came up to me and said mm -hmm. that they have a time machine in their pocket. Okay. I would not believe it for a second. Okay. It's not because I don't believe it's possible. It's just I believe that's extraordinarily unlikely and you would have to provide me with some very good evidence. Excellent. Okay. For that, right? Good. If someone came up to me and they said they have a square circle in their pocket, mm -hmm. I would regard that as impossible. Thank you. So, so we're with it. Yeah. So what? what, I, what <laughs> when what you I, get with it, then so I'll notice, give you. Those are two things. One is right. it's extraordinarily improbable, get, right. improbable, given everything else I believe. Right. That's one thing. And then there's things that I would just regard as possible. If you say, hey, there's a married bachelor over there. So well, I don't know what you're talking hey, about. I don't know exactly. About. If you say, you know, it, oh, okay. But uh, so anyway. That's a good, that's a good, excellent if example. Someone, if someone were to come up and say, you know, something about someone being incarnate or something like that. Now, we're Christians, so we, we, we believe in that revelation. We, we believe in the revelation we have. Right. So we don't believe that sort of thing is going to happen. So we would we would dismiss it on that. As far as, oh, just, so, as far as. If so we, you would dismiss it on basically your belief. Yeah. That, okay, no, we're, we're, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let, me, let me respond to him. No. Come yeah, on, bro. Can I respond to him now, man? Yeah. Okay. Well, I wasn't finished. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, David. Yeah, so, yeah, well, yeah, so, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm saying is, in other words, since we're Christians, we believe that God has sent his revelation and there's no more incarnations or anything coming along, right? So we would say, oh, we're Christians, we believe that. But um, if if someone if we if we weren't christians and we were just saying hey if if god has god has the power to do what he wants if god wanted to enter creation and do this our point is we wouldn't say i reject that because it's an impossibility or a contradiction we would say that sounds really far-fetched so you're going to have to give me some really good evidence we wouldn't regard it as a contradiction you know what anthony the anthony's point what he was saying about all these this background knowledge and prophecies and so on is he's saying we do have good evidence, and so that's why we would okay. dismiss it. Because it, yeah, if, gotcha. if someone just came along and said, "Hi, I'm Jesus. I'm the divine Son of God," or we get that creation, all the time. Here, we would yeah. say, "No, what are you talking right, about, right, man?" Excellent. If, if Can I speak now, bro? <laughs> are you done? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Kim. So that is exactly the point. To me, as a Muslim, and this is what we're discussing here. To me, to say God is a part of the creation in the sense that He is human, that He goes to the bathroom, that He has to go to the, that He has those human flaws that Jesus would have had as a as a human being, not moral flaws, right? But we're talking about just physical flaws that we have as humans. To me, is just like you saying a square circle. To me, I see no difference like in that. It, it's it's apples and oranges, right? Humans, insana da'ifa, right? Humans have these weak. Weaknesses, right? Even if you take Adam before the fall, right? Obviously, he had some inclination to make a mistake, and that's why he took the he took he ate from the tree that he shouldn't have, right? So that means by nature, even before the fall, he had that weakness to make that mistake. But Allah doesn't. The Creator does not. The Creator does not cry out and say, "My God, My God." That's see, this is a human attribute where you are calling out to your creator right now if the creator is god himself he doesn't call out to himself he doesn't say my god like you never see the father in the bible saying my god right david so well, okay, yeah. let, let him i ask david uh, bro anthony take it is your name david uh, I, I said right david <laughs> So well, oh, when we were talking, he was just. Oh, he made a point. So I responded to his no, point, made, but you're he gonna. Made a good point. I agree with. Oh, you, so all right. I'll take that as a response to me. Well, I was gonna jump in with that. Oh, Another okay. Example. Okay. Go ahead. Oh yeah. So uh, I, something that would. I don't know your beliefs about the Quran. My, and I, I'm not changing something. Did you get my just, question though? Yeah, I've got. I've got okay. for like the last. For like the last. No, no. Time. I just asked you like a question right time. now. Yeah, we, it would make sense for the for the father to cry out, my, my God, right? Why? Sense, no. Apart from becoming incarnate. Yeah, apart from becoming. No, no, no apart, I'm saying for the father. Yeah. Right. Do, do you ever see the father saying, "My God"? He, he refers to the son. Can I? Speak? <laughs> Can what? man, David, you, you got like a rekin to us or something? Like you pull what? strings? Why are you I'm so asked, afraid to hear I'm not. I, I, I will talk to you. It's not like I'm no, gonna no. Let you talk I'm, I'm going to let him talk first, and then I'll talk to you. Don't. I've been talking to you this whole time. So the question, David, is: Do you ever find the father saying, "My God"? He's, he calls Jesus God. 
my God? No, he. If you're talking about Jesus crying out, my God, you say no. The Father doesn't do that, right? We're, okay, right, okay. We, we don't believe. Gotcha. That. So, so the Father, then, this is the nature of the Creator. He doesn't call out. He is the one you call out to. That's the nature of God. And the nature of humans is we have weaknesses, so we call out to our Creator, right? This is this is the exact point you're missing. Right? Humans have those shortcomings, those needs, those necessities that the Creator doesn't. So the Creator doesn't call out and say, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? But a human would. Yeah, and, and so right. this, yeah, we, we, I know, He I know, was yeah, human. Yeah, and so. <laughs> but he was God, you're I just, I just wanted to. He became flesh. But he was wanted, completely God. You don't then. realize you're begging the question. No, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm making a very I clear want, distinction. I want to so, Go ahead. So I don't know exactly what you believe about the, the, the Quran and the speech. I believe in the, the Quran and so the Kalam of Allah. Yeah. Uh, so, but lots of Muslims tell me that Allah's speech is eternal, co eternal with Allah. Sure. Um, and this isn't, I'm not changing the subject here. This is an example. This is an example of what we're talking I'm about. Listening. So, if the Quran is Allah's eternal speech, mm -hmm. then if you were to say, hey, does it make sense for, does the Quran have a beginning or something like that? I would say, no, it's, if it's eternal, then it, then it has no beginning. You're right. Uh, if you said, can it be corrupted? I would say, Cannot. no, it's, 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 it's divine. It, it, it can't be corrupted, right? So if you were to ask these kinds of questions, I would say, as far as the eternal speech of Allah or an, an attribute of God, I would say those kinds of things, do, it doesn't make sense there to go, David. raise those kinds of questions, right? But if, oh, you were to say, if you were to say to me that that we have a physical Quran, right? Excellent. This is this is this is a, a this doesn't have the Arabic in it, but assuming this had the Arabic in it, that we have a physical copy of the Quran. Excellent. Then it seems like the, the, the physical copy of the Quran would kind of have two natures. It, it's it's the eternal speech of Allah, and yet it's it's entered our world because we have a physical world. It's entered our world Excellent. as a physical book made of paper and glue and ink. And therefore, if you were to ask me, does it make sense to talk about this as having a beginning or about this being corrupted and changed and so on, then I would say, yes, it's a physical book. Of course, it can fall apart. It eventually will. You mentioned earlier that people can eat it or yeah. burn it or yeah. all kinds of things. And so it makes sense to talk about a physical... A physical Weird people, yeah. It, it makes sense to talk about a physical Quran. Um, it, so in other words, I would say that a book that has two natures, that it's the eternal speech of Allah entered into creation in a physical form so that we can have it. It, may, it now makes sense to talk about this having a beginning, and I'm assuming it has, it has a publication date. So it now makes sense to talk about this having a publication date. It now makes sense. It didn't make sense before when you're talking about the speech of Allah before it comes into creation. Excellent. Once it enters into creation, now we can ask these questions. But if I were to take your objection seriously, I would have to say, no, it's, it's absurd to talk about these these eternal things that can't be corrupted, being corrupted, being co being corruptible, having a beginning, having an end, falling apart. That makes no sense of the eternal speech of excellent, Allah. Excellent, you, excellent, you playing excellent. Oh no, you guys don't no, do music. That was, you don't do music. No, I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you play the music for us. All right. I don't know how to play. Music. All right, come on, learn. All right. So, now, excellent, excellent answer. I appreciate that. All right. So let's go to that now. Right. The Quran is kalam Allah. Right? The Quran will never call out to Allah. Okay? Now, in the Quran, you will never say, the, 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 oh, take it easy, take it easy, though? take it easy, Is take it true? easy, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy Anthony. Is it true? Hold it, hold it together, you, Crook. Hold it together. It? I will. It? I will. I will. Okay? The Quran itself is Kalamullah. Right? The Quran responds, for example, the Prophet وسلم, right? But the Quran does not speak to Allah. It's the speech of Allah. Allah teaches us, for example, ad'iyah, which are called dua, supplications, for us to use to call to Allah, right? But let me finish, bro. Take it easy. Yeah, yeah I got you. Okay, so now, when you say this has a publication date, none of us standing here as Muslims will say this is a part of the creation, creator. Right? This here is a published book. That's why the Quran is recited and the Quran is revealed. It was never sent just like a book, right? Because then that book, it, once it hits the earth, then that would be part of the worldly things. That's why Imam al-Bukhari has a book 
called Khalaq al-Af'al al-Ibad. When he talks about the recitation or the paper or the ink, is not what is Quran. Quran is what is revealed. And before the Day of Judgment, it will be taken up. And that revelation can never be corrupted. That revelation is always preserved. And that revelation doesn't weaken. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, when you talk about Jesus now, on the other hand, when you say that he came and he became human, but then at the same breath, you say that he's always one. God is not divisible. So you're saying then that is God himself, even though he's human. And even though he is God, the father and him are the same thing. But he's saying, oh my God, oh my God, why have you forsaken me? That makes absolutely no sense. Okay, great. So you've said the fact that Christ, the second person of the Trinity, the Son of God, by virtue of becoming human and crying out to the Father, that there's a problem with that, a logical problem, and that's not something that Islam has to deal with. Now, number one, I don't think that's a logical problem, but I, number two, I also don't think that's true Islamically. Go ahead. I'd like you to tell me sure. where I may have that wrong. I don't think I do. You never but, know. But I, I grant that you're the imam, right? <laughs> so, uh, my understanding, which I have from other Muslims, which is part and parcel of why I hold that, and have read in the Islamic sources, that the Quran itself does intercede for Muslims, or will, on the Day of Judgment, right? The Quran will appear as a pale man and will say that it was the Muslim's companion in life and will intercede for him. Is that not correct? Can you give me a reference for that? That's in the hadith. Which hadith? Uh, seriously, you don't think I'm going to go back? I mean, like, I uh, don't know. Are you numbers. saying that's not in the hadith? That, no. that is not in any authentic hadith that okay. I've ever read. So you'd say it's can not I, authentic. Can I, can I finish? Oh, that's okay. fine. If you okay. say it's not authentic. Hold on, take it easy, Anthony. So, to say the Quran will appear as a pale man, and what did you say it would be with the... The, the Quran will uh -huh. intercede for Muslims and will say that... It as a pale man. Uh, well, that's that's in a Tirmidhi hadith, for example. Hmm. Let's just uh, look hold. For it. Let's look for it. Okay. Uh, so no, no, hold on. Let, let, because see, I like to discuss on evidences. No, so if can I find a hadith in a Tirmidhi that says the Quran will be a pale man? Let's just find that, and then okay. I will explain from there. Okay. So, but that kind of misses the point of, that I'm making. You're focused on the pale man part, but Excellent. I think you and I both know that it's classically Islamic to say the Quran will intercede for you. So let me explain the shifa of the Quran? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Explain Excellent. That. The Quran is Kalamullah. Okay. You said, huh? You've told us that part. I know, but that's part okay. of the explanation. Okay. Take okay. it easy, Anthony. Okay. <laughs> okay. The Quran that is read by us, right? I mean we read the Quran. That Kalamullah will be a evidence for us. Do you understand what that means? That the fact that we stayed up at night and read the Quran will make shifa, it will be an intercession. It will not be asking Allah for help or asking Allah separately than anything. It is only the fact that that good deed will be an intercession for you. Like if you had read the actual hadith, it talks about the Quran and another hadith about the siyam, the fasting, right? We don't say fasting by itself is an entity, but it's the deed that is a interest that intercedes for you so you, does the hadith you, say that the deed yes. of reciting the quran will intercede for you or does the hadith say the so, quran will intercede again for you? So, th so this is the thing when you say al quran was siyam they, they, these two will be shifa they will be an intercession right so what does that mean that it is that deed of reading the quran do you understand what that means now? Well, I understand what you're claiming. Okay. That's just not what So let's see the... Let's uh, see. I, I searched for it. The first one that popped up, I know it's in Termity, but the first... I know it's in Termity, but the first... I know it's in Termity, but the first... I know it's in Termity, but the first one that popped Excellent. up was in Ibn Majid. So in Termity, there is no such hadith that says the Quran there, will there be a pale man. That's just the first one that popped up. Okay, so can we look at the Termity one first? Okay, I'll find the I just want to... I just want to see... Notice, uh, the Ibn Majah version says the Quran will come on the day of resurrection like yes. a pale man. Okay. And will say, I am the one that kept you awake at night and made you thirsty during the day. Excellent, excellent. So let's now go to... Hold on, take it easy, guy. I'm just trying to see you. Are you trying to see that? No, no, take it easy. This is why... Are you, you're not seriously going to go to Google Translate, are you? Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know you know you're Arabic. Funny. You're I know funny. You, know Arabic. you don't have an Arabic keyboard? Uh, uh, no. Okay. Uh, I was just going to show you the takhreej. You know what takhreej is? Okay. The checking of the narration. Okay. This narration of Ibn Majah is a very weak narration. 
they didn't grade it this week. Can you show me their grading? Yeah, it's in Hassan. Let me see. Uh, okay. Go, just hit back. It's, a, it's in Arabic just, now. You just, you just ruined back. his phone. You can't see anything. Oh, he he'll now. see it. <laughs> Where did it say Hassan? No, no, this is, this is Darul Salam's grading, right? So this is not, this is not sunnah.com, just a website. Okay, so, so Darul Salam, right? Darul Salam is a but, publishing yeah. house, right? But that's not the grading. Yeah, but they gave the rating for the hadith scholars, right? They're not just making it up. No, no, no. So, so we need to. I know this hadith, and that's why I was telling you, right? And I can show you the weakness in it if you like. Darul Salam is a publishing house, not a scholar itself, right? Their grading by itself is not a hujja, it's not an evidence. You have to look at the evidence from the scholars of hadith. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's why I asked you, right? Now, if you like, and if you, how long are you in San so Diego? Just, just, let, me, just, let me just finish. How long are you in San Diego? We're leaving tonight. Oh, right. I was going to invite you to my house. I have Ibn Majah. I appreciate right. the fact Look, that you, you would have invited You got us. dinner, you got tea, I got you. <laughs> All right? And I would sit with you and explain to you from the Sharh of Ibn Majah why this hadith is daif actually. Because I teach aqidah and I taught the subject. Okay? Uh -huh. In the authentic narration, and again, this is not in a Tirmidhi, by the way, anyway. Let me see the Tirmidhi uh, you have, uh, right? You said you had a Tirmidhi So I could okay. so so okay. search for it. I'll wait for it. In the authentic narration, it does not mention the pale man. That's why I was trying to explain to you. Rather, the Quran and, and its Shifa is from the one who stayed up at night. So the Shifa is the Quran asking intercession from the deed of you staying up nights. Do you understand the understanding there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at Jesus calling out on the on the cross according to the Bible that you believe in, right? Saying, oh my God, oh my God, why have you forsaken me? That is not about a deed that you did. That is one entity calling out to another entity for help and asking, why have you forsaken me? Is that correct or wrong? So, so that you know, I'm not, I'm not I'm saying I have any problem with that. I absolutely okay. affirm that. So you, the you affirm. The second person of the Trinity took on a human nature. So he was no longer virtue, God. No, he was both God and man. And by virtue of the incarnation, was able to call out to the Father as God. Okay, so, so I, I want to understand I, that. I wasn't trying to like, okay. give an apology. Okay, so I want to understand. Okay, that. okay, so let me understand what you affirm. Okay. You're saying Jesus came to earth and became a man. Absolutely. So was he that all-powerful, all-being, has no needs God at that time or not? He was both God and man. Again, that's like a square circle, you right? You say that's like because, a square circle. Because God is, has no needs, right? As his divine nature, so think okay. of it this way. I mean, it's not that hard, really. It, it is hard, because it's confusing. But it's like a square circle. You're asserting that it is. But to me, it is. There, there hasn't been a demonstration of that. What I'm getting at is as God, so if he, so as an example, you think man has a soul, man has yes. a body. Yes. Right? Your soul and your body are not the same thing. They're both you. True. We don't want to get into a whole tangent here. I'm with you. But Keep there are going. things that are true of you bodily that aren't true of you as, in terms of your soul or spirit. Okay. Right? If your body dies, does your soul die? No. No. As Christians, we believe Christ is both God and man, just like man is body and soul. Okay. Right? Man has those two constituent let me, elements. Let me but speak. So all I'm saying is, although the attributes of Christ as God are such as he is omniscient, omnipotent, omnibenevolent, all of these things, his human attributes and qualities are most definitely character, uh, you know, he has, he's in one place at one time, he gets hungry, he slept, he wept, he died. Did he go to the bathroom? He absolutely did. God went to the bathroom. Yeah. God became flesh. And went to the bathroom. Dwelt among us. And secured Did he get cell, diarrhea? Secured cell. He died on the cross. What more do you want that's, than that? That's pretty... <laughs> what more do you want than that? Huh? You are Muslim, aren't you? Huh? This is he a secret, right? Right? You're, you're he looking, got tortured. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. God, God got tortured. Out, God. Oh. Out, his Ooh. back was whipped. Gotcha. Huh? Yeah. And, and he cried out to who? He cried out to his father. But he didn't say father. He said God. But he said, "My God." God. That's a, but, that's, but he is God. Yes. That he doesn't is. make sense now. Yeah, <laughs> Again, now you're saying it make sense, that doesn't make sense. We already sense, talked right? about that no, earlier. So, so, uh, but and we, it didn't make sense earlier. No, no, but no. let me let me. Well, then it doesn't make sense to say Allah has sifat. Uh, of course are, it does. No. Allah's sifat are a part of Him. Christ Allah is part of the Father. But Allah's sifat don't separate. Allah's sifat don't need to go to the bathroom. The Allah's sifat. Uh huh. Uh, Go ahead. You believe that the Quran is Again, the instantiation of I, I, I just told you earlier. No, I heard I just, you. No, said. no, no, no. You didn't. I did. I did. No Muslim, no Muslim says that this right in your hand is a part of Allah. 
Well, first of all, that's not even an error. Exactly. So for so you to I, lift this up doesn't make any well, sense, right? But you, let you me, knew what I let meant. Me, I this do. This represents that. And I will tell you, as I told David, when you didn't listen, I guess, but I'll say it again. You guys want to be... Huh? All right, no, there I'm you go. Right. you, but I'm also finding what you want, because I can Excellent. get it really quickly. Okay. So now the issue gets to be the sifat of Allah are a part of Allah. Even if Allah reveals... You understand the difference between revealing and becoming separate, right? The sifat of Allah never have weaknesses. You can burn the, the written copy because that's not the Quran. The Quran is what is recited. It cannot be corrupted. Somebody can make a mistake in their reading, but their reading is not the sifat of Allah. Now, Jesus saying, my God Jesus, is the nature is not part of his divine essence. Okay, so that's so, so that's Christ, that's the, that's the confusing part here because you're saying that the the soul is a part of me. Without the soul I can't exist. Right? Right? But you so, are your soul. You are, you are thank you. Soul. So if you are your soul, soul and then Jesus is his soul and you're saying that's God. So for uh, God to be now saying my God makes you know that doesn't make sense. No, no, no. You, but you misunderstood me. Okay. Christ has both a human soul and a human body, and His divine nature. Man, oh. Man is so both Christ body and soul. is three things now. No, well, that's, this is classic Christianity. This is excellent. Excellent. If, if you're just learning this, I'm I mean, I, I'm just learning it from you because okay, you're such a good explainer. This, this is classic okay. Chalcedony. You've excellent. Heard of Chalcedon, right? I have. Chalcedon was a Christian creed, 451. I, I, the I, classic Chalcedonian statement is. Just like man is body and soul, God and man is one Christ. Okay, so, let me so just ask me, that. But let me just ask, because I want to understand that. Okay. Let me just understand. Okay, so Christ, according to you, he was human. Mm -hmm. He had a soul. Real body and soul. Human. And he was God. That's three things in Christ. So, so he has all the attributes of humanity, okay. God and soul, and okay. he has a divine nature. So that's what I just said, right? So human nature and divine nature. So he has a soul. Absolutely. When was his soul created? So again, the soul uh, of Christ Anthony. is it's human. Okay, Christ. so when was his human soul created? Christ became man when he became incarnate. In the so, world the, of so the soul. The it's a very simple question. Yeah, it's okay, yeah, it's okay, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, nobody else got it. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. When was his soul created? The soul of Christ. I'm saying that the humanity of Christ, body and soul, yes. starts at the point of conception, the virgin birth. Okay. Can you give me any reference to the Bible about when the soul of Jesus was created, as you just gave that answer? But about the soul. So, so the Bible teaches that man's soul is formed along with his body. It's formed within him. Okay, so man. One, one, Psalm 139, okay. among others, talks about the fact that God knits people together in their mother's womb. This is, from the Christian perspective, the time when man's, man's, man himself comes into existence. So Jesus came into existence as a man. The human, it's human, okay. yeah, it's so, human so, nature. So Jesus' soul... So, Zechariah 12.10 also makes... For, uh, 12, 1, and those are not about Jesus, right? 12, those are those, general. Those are about human you beings. You asked about souls and bodies. I asked you about Jesus' soul right. particularly. So, just like you reasoned earlier, okay. from the general to the particular, I'm with all you. I'm saying is... So you're saying the general rules about humanity are why you're taking the fact in your mind because that Jesus' soul came in. So Jesus had no soul until he was in the womb of Mary. He had no human soul until he gotcha. Came in and when he came in the womb of Mary, his soul came into creation. So yeah, his body and soul originate at that gotcha. time. Gotcha. And his body. And, and his when body. he died, according to you on the cross, his, where did his soul go? His body died. His soul remained united to his divine nature. Okay. And he ascended into heaven. So before that time, there was no soul, but there was there was Jesus. Before and then time? before Jesus was born. Yeah. He had no soul. Right. So then God increased the soul of Jesus later. No, 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 that's, that's, <laughs> that's what you just said. That's not at all what I said. Okay, let, let me repeat it again. That's not you, at all what let, I said. let me say what I said and then you can correct me. Anthony, we got this. Okay. Just did, so you a laugh track over here. It wasn't oh, even what I said. People were laughing. It's okay. Thank so it wasn't good. now, <laughs> when, you, when you said that Jesus had no soul before his human conception, mm -hmm. right? So there was Jesus, part of God. There was God himself and then the Holy Ghost, but I'm going to go there, okay? Then Jesus came to the womb of Mary and a soul was created. It didn't exist before. Then, you're saying no? You're saying no? Or? He's not saying anything. Okay, I'm sorry, I thought you were shaking your head. Okay, so then, then Jesus was born with a human soul and a human body and a godly nature, three components. Then he goes on a cross and he dies and his body dies his soul now, that was newly created, now becomes a part of God. No, no, no. No? no 
That's, nice that's exactly what you said. Well, okay, that's tell me what you said exactly then. What I tell said. me what you said and then. Just like you said to me earlier, you know, not putting words in your mouth. I'm not. I now you really. From me, I didn't say anything like that. I'm, right? I got it. You guys got it on video, but yeah, go ahead. We got it on video. Good. Say, yeah. Tell me again. What I told you, you okay. said his soul increased, and I never said anything along those lines either. Mm -hmm. What I said is very clear, and this is just ca classic Christian theology. Mm -hmm. Right? Chalcedon is just solidifying what was always taught by Christians. At Chalcedon, it says that Christ took on a true human nature. Human nature is a body-soul entity. Right? Man is an ensouled being, an embodied soul. Okay? So when Christ takes on a human nature, he takes into union with himself a full human nature, body and soul. When the body dies, the soul doesn't cease to exist. And so when Christ died physically, his soul didn't cease to exist. Neither did it separate the union that had already been established at the incarnation between Christ as a divine person and that human soul. They're still fundamentally united. The soul doesn't become a part of the Godhead, but it still remains a human soul. Okay. It never becomes a part of the, uh, of okay. the divine nature. So, so you have it on video, and so do we. Yeah. But I'm going to repeat this again. Okay. So, there was no soul before Jesus was in the womb of Mary, right? Right. Okay. So Jesus came in the womb. Mm -hmm. God created a, a new soul. Yeah. For Jesus. Yeah. We don't. Became think a part of yeah. Jesus. Maybe we have a different conception of what the soul is. Though. It's okay. Let, let's okay. just keep going. Soul, body, soul connected. Body. Okay. He came out on earth. You're, you're with me, Anthony? Yes. Okay. He goes to the cross. Mm -hmm. He gets killed, according to you. Yep. Now his soul and body separate. His soul that was not a part of the God union before, was not a part of Jesus before, where does that soul go? It remains his soul. And where does he go? He goes back to the Father. So the Father now has an increased but, soul. You said it, no, 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 and you no, said it again, see, and now you're denying wait, it. Wait a minute. All right, Anthony. Minute. Thank wait you. Minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> when you say you believe that uh, Allah raised Jesus to himself, you believe that eventually someday you guys are all going to go to, uh, well, um, somebody, somebody's going to Jannah, right? Somebody's going to heaven. Every Muslim, Allah makes us. Are you going to say us. they're added to Allah, like they're some part of his nature? We do not believe, I, I don't believe let, let, me, let, me, let me respond. We do not believe we in Jannah are a part of Allah. And neither do I. But you said, no, 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 no. no. But you, you said Jesus is a part God. of God. No, no, no. We're oh, talking about oh, yeah. Jesus' I soul. I said, I said. You got, you no, got no. God, bro. It's I, over. It's you, over. Man. Thank you. You've been asserting it's and over, begging man. the question all Look, it's over. It's you, over. Been, Thank you. Been asserting. Thank you. Hold it's on. okay. It's okay. Yeah, 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 you can get Thank you. We'll bring Sam in here in just a second. But we need to be clear here. I never said that Christ's soul becomes part of the deity. That was your claim. <laughs> that was your claim. Your last, I'm glad this is recorded. Right? Oh, I'm, I'm so glad because I'm going to show you. Okay, so where did that soul go? English, where did the soul go? Theology. What does it have to do with where does the soul go? Jesus' soul, think, where does it go? Do you think if somebody's soul goes to heaven, it becomes part of God? No. Well, neither do I. But you said Jesus' soul connected with him. It doesn't separate I, no, I, and goes back to being a part I, of God. But listen. Come on, you guys got to see this. Come on. back to being part of God. You said that. <sighs> and then you had your laugh track, and then you turned right. your hand to the camera. Where did, the soul, where did Jesus' you, soul go? Okay, now let's be clear. Your assumption is, if his soul goes up to heaven, then somehow it becomes Where part does Jesus' soul go? Jesus' soul remains forever united to his divine nature. Okay, where does his divine nature? Is he back being a part of God? What do you mean back to being part of God? He never Wait, ceased being part of but, God. But he was human here, right? As to his divine nature, he's uh, always God. Okay. He never ceases to be God. So then when he got a when soul attached to him. A human nature, which includes yes. a human soul. Right. At his death, he doesn't. Cease. Okay, so that soul is now a part of the divine nature of no, Jesus. A part of. It's, it's, oh yeah, that, Allah. That soul, that soul remains united in His person. Yes. His soul. So but God is divine nature. So it's a part that's, of Him. That's your disjunct. Is it a part of God or not? It is His. Uh, it's, he has a divine answer. nature <laughs> and a human nature. Is that soul because His human body is dead? So His human soul is it a part of God or not? It is not a part of his divine nature. It's not a part of God or not? It's not part of his divine nature. So Jesus' soul is not a part of God? It's not part of his divine nature. Do it's you a very the simple deep? question. It's a very simple answer. Is it a part of God, or yes or no? It's a very simple answer. His soul is his human nature, not his divine nature. Jesus, that person, has two natures, divine okay. and human. 
you keep wanting to conflate the two. So Christian theology has always said that's not true. And so you're when, just learning when for the Jesus first time, died after doing Da Eve for so long, time. it's not the for the first, first time. time you're just listen, now learning listen. that's not Christian theology. Anthony, Anthony, we got it on film. Anthony, you said it. Anthony, you said this it. is the first time, I, as I said, that the way you're explaining it, right? Because other Christians explain it differently. But let well, me, I'm let me, you, let me tell you. Calcedonian okay, let me tell you this. The question you're not answering, that soul that got created, is that a part of God, yes or no? Not in the sense you're asking. Okay, thank you. So right? the, the soul of Jesus is not a part of God. In the Got sense it. that you're asking, that thank you're you. assuming it's part of his divine nature. Okay, so you're you. saying Jesus' soul, his human body's dead, but his soul is not a part of God. Thank you. I got it. Absolutely. Okay. Even just, after he died. That's just classic Christianity. Even after he died. Welcome to Christianity okay. 101. So Jesus' soul is in heaven? Yes. So Jesus will be God and his soul will be in heaven. Why are you doing this? Because this God, well, I mean, you, you, you but, hope you will be in heaven, right? Yeah, and I'm not but you're not to be God. But, but your well, soul your is separate, right? If soul's in heaven, then it's part of God. No, I didn't. Yeah, I never didn't. said that. That's I never said that. That's the assumption I did of your not argument. make that assumption. That this, is your this assumption. Is, this is a flat... That mistruth, is I'll say it, right? But if that's that not your not assumption, not. My, your let me let me follow. let me explain it to you again. Okay, let me explain my assumptions, okay? okay? Let me explain what I You said Jesus did not have a soul before the Prior womb of the Mary. Let me speak now. Right? Jesus comes to the womb of Mary, God creates a body for Jesus and a soul for Jesus. Now Jesus is a body, a soul, and a divine nature, according to you. Then he lives in life, and he lives with those three components. Now at the cross, according to you, his body dies, right? And his soul and his divine nature go back to being a part of God. So now... Notice the conjunction, soul and divine nature. That's go what ahead. I said. Okay. Yeah. Notice go the back to being a part of God. No, 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 I didn't say that. That's where you keep okay. making the false so, turn. So where does the soul go? You, but what, what, you're, you're confusing location with ontology. Okay. You seem to think that Christ's location means some fundamental so change in his ontology. Christ on That's earth. That's just a complete category. Christ on earth That's was God walking around, irrational. right? This whole time in this argument, you've been saying that you object to the incarnation because it's irrational, and now you're being as irrational as possible. I'm not. You keep making a false turn that rests on the false assumption that if Jesus goes to the Father, then something about his ontology changes. That's just utterly <laughs> fallacious. Okay, let me... That's just let me, utterly fallacious. When Even Jesus was walking, teeth, walking around on earth, you show your teeth, when Jesus was walking around, uh -huh. was he God himself? He was both God and man. Okay, so as God, he was walking on earth. Absolutely. In a human form. And, yeah, with a human body, absolutely. And a human soul. And a human soul. And that changed. What changed? When he died on the cross. His body died, went to the Excellent. dust. His soul remained his soul, but okay. never his divine nature. Okay. It's so, still not his part of his so divine So his nature. soul then... Never becomes part of his okay. divine nature. So his soul will never be part of God. It'll never be a part of his divine nature. Christ, Christ is okay. one person. Right. Right? I got you. He's, Thank you. He's I get a divine it. person. Okay. He has two natures. I understand your answer. Okay. Thank you. I don't agree with it. Well, okay. Well, I don't but expect that's, you to agree yeah, that's at this my, point. Okay. But I'm sure. saying you understand what it is now. Though. David, do you have the same? You understand. Do you agree point? that that the soul of Christ is not a part of God? It's not a part of his divine nature. His divine nature. You believe that. David Wood. That's, that's basic Wood. Christianity. I mean, oh, I mean, I mean, many Christians here, preachers and pastors, have said the soul of Christ is a part of God, right? Well, but you're saying it's not. Okay, but understand. See, I don't you, know you're saying the soul of Christ was created, and when Christ died, his soul does not become God. Absolutely not. Okay, that's his soul is in heaven. So. so so let me just say this then. I, I can't speak for other Christians okay. right? in this sense, the people you got talked it. to, right? I'm not going to say you're misrepresenting them. There are you can talk to them. Right? No, no, no. But I'm saying they might be uh, speaking less than precisely. Okay. Or you might be misunderstanding them. Okay. I can tell you this, you know, even with all the laugh tracks going on, I can tell you this. Historic, classic Christianity, in terms of its official formal creeds and confessions, teaches exactly what I just told you. Okay. Right? The Chalcedonian Creed, which is historic Christianity in its affirmation of the natures of Christ, has always affirmed that Christ had a fully human nature. Okay. And those two natures forever are distinct. His human nature could never be Interesting. His divine nature. So, so the soul of Christ will, is not a part of God. 
it's not a part of his divine essence, his okay. nature, right? And, and let me, this goes back to a fundamental distinction of Christianity that I think we agree on. And you would hold it as a Muslim, not as, you know, I'm not saying you hold this, you know, the, the creator-creature distinction. Mm -hmm. an absolute distinction yes. between the two. Yes. And so as, and as Christians, sorry, as Christians, we affirm that distinction and we don't believe the incarnation ever blurs that distinction. But we believe Jesus was a creation. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. you believe he was, he only was a human being. He was a creation. Yeah. And but you believe, believe he was a creation and the creator. We believe that he was the That's creator not. who took upon himself a human nature. So again, that means you mixed never, it too. <laughs> which, no, which never become mixed. Again, <laughs> if you read the, if you read the Chalcedonian Creed, it says without admixture, without okay. intermixing. So, so classic Christianity gotcha. has always said those two natures remain distinct. They're okay. both natures of the divine word. They belong to the word, but they never become the other. His divine nature forever remains divine. His human nature forever remains human. But his human nature started at the womb of Mary. Yes, because it's human. Right? And his body died, and his, body and his died. soul will live, but never be a part of God. It'll always be united in his one person. It'll never be his divine nature. In the one person with the Father? Yeah. So soul then is now united with the Father. The Son who is always one with the Father. Okay. There's no change to the divine nature. You there is, because you just added a soul to it. No. It's, it's, it's united with it, right? You, you don't even you don't Is the soul united with Jesus forever it's, or not? It's hypostatically. It's not ontologically. Wow. They don't become fused. In, I mean, I think you're thinking in terms of... That's what it sounds there's like, some right? some tangible substance called deity. No, no, no. There's no, no, this no. other tangible stuff right. and they get glued or something. Let me, let me just explain. Okay, I'm so saying. this is... The, when your idea of God... Mm -hmm. Right? There are three components. Right? What do you mean by what, what components are you referring to here? Father, the Son, okay. and the Holy Ghost. I wasn't sure if you were still talking about Christ, divine nature, human nature. Well, that is Christ. It's one of the three, right? Yeah, up here, yeah. But yeah, I up here. Okay, I got you. What components you're talking about here? I get you. I, I, I know what you. I, I like to be clear. So, what I'm talking about is God, in your understanding, has three distinct components that come together as one the Father, the no, no. Okay. That, that, that would be like us saying, you believe that Allah has these components, his face and his shin and so on, that come together yeah, as Allah. It, it wouldn't, because, let, it, it, it wouldn't, let me yeah. explain why no, not. No, 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 because Allah's do. yad, for example, doesn't detach and come walk around on earth. But we don't think right? Christ detached. Okay, but, but, but you. you do say that God took on human form. Yeah. Human nature. Okay, so we also when, believe that God is everywhere, so there's no de there's no detachment. It's not like okay. it, when I say he took on, that's metaphorical. I don't mean if God is everywhere, is then what's the difference between you and Jesus? You're both God then. No, God is everywhere, so God's in you, right? See, why why do basic terms break down like that with people? You because move from you don't God make is everywhere sense. to saying God is everything. Those are two okay. different terms. So, so, so that's the thing. Jesus was God. You're saying not present at Jesus. So that's why you're yeah. trying to confuse the issue no, no. because there's a distinction. Yeah. You're saying uh, I'm making the distinction. Okay. You're not. I am. Let no, me explain it. So <laughs> when you say God is everywhere, yeah, you don't mean He's everywhere in the sense that Jesus was here. Oh, right? In the, in the sense that Jesus has incarnate? Yes. Okay, yeah. Incarnate so there is, there's there's that, that's your, that's that, your breakdown. In, okay, so let's take, let's take it back to that. So when Jesus was walking around, it is different from God just being everywhere according to you. There, there, because there's a hypostatic, you know what the term Thank hypostatic Thank you. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. When you add, there's a ahead. hypostatic union. Hypostatic pertains to Excellent. the person. So that means... The person of the Son is not a yes. physical, tangible thing. He can be present without taking up any space. Right? Excellent. We're not but, saying he but occupies he, space. But, but right now, mm -hmm. this here, us walking around, according to you, God is everywhere Upholding in a sense. Everything. Excellent, got you. But when Jesus is walking around, now this is different than just saying God is everywhere because you're yeah, saying, yeah, absolutely. thank you. Okay, yeah. so when Jesus came to earth, not that he was already everywhere, like, like that, you can't yeah, just go on a loop. He is always everywhere. <laughs> but there's a difference, right, yeah. of Jesus coming yeah. physically, yeah. right? Yeah, he's incarnate in the womb. Though. Yes or no? That flesh doesn't come from heaven. Thank you. Okay. But that connection yeah, is from the, heaven. Starts in the womb. Excellent. So now, when Jesus, according to you, was walking around, mm -hmm. he was God walking around, right? God. In the human form. And man. He is both God and man. Got walking it. Around. Yes. Got it. That so that, person, is, that is different. That person. Excellent. So that is different than right now when you could say God is everywhere, but he's not walking around as a person, right? 
Yeah, but the fact that he's mm -hmm. everywhere makes that sort of thing possible. Okay. Right. But again, like you said, it is not the same as him just being everywhere regularly, right? Of course not. Okay, thank you. So, when God... Destroy the uniqueness of the incarnation. Exactly, and that's what I'm saying. When I was saying that, you were like, well, he's everywhere anyway. No. I'm like, well, then that doesn't make sense. So, no. let's go back to that. He's in the womb, and now a soul is created. That was not there before. Right? Yeah, well, I'm, she'll try to okay. figure out why we're back here again. Because you, you, you went in a loop, that's why. No, you Many, went on a loop. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, that soul gets connected now to God, the Jesus. Right? Jesus is now, a divine person for the divine nature. Now has a soul connected to him. Now this human nature mm -hmm. is brought into union with his divine Thank you. through his one person. Thank you. It becomes the nature of that person. Now the body will die. Yep. But now that soul will remain fused, but, right? That That's what you're saying? Fused, though, but, <laughs> well, I'm saying it's still uh, his nature. Okay. It's still his, that okay. soul is his soul. Okay. But, but it's not a part of God. It, it's not a part of his divine nature. Gotcha. But something same. new got connected to God, right? But what do you mean by connected? You're acting like oh, these are Legos. What do you mean? No, no, no. You're telling me you're like Legos, right? No, God came in not. and you plugged the human body and you plugged I'm the soul and then the human and body falls off and the soul connects, right? That's what you're saying. And hitting air. Uh, all right. Well, it's nice talking to you, Anthony. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so David, you want, I wish we. Now you want Sam? I want yeah. Sam. Any, yeah. uh, Sam. Look, let, let me let me explain this, right? I don't mean like. No, no. I, I don't want Sam, but yeah, it's like listen <laughs> to me. Know, listen to like, me. You guys are welcome anytime. Uh, We're not here to debate. We're here to give dawah. If somebody you wants. Like Christian Prince to debate, you sure. You're let me, to can I, yeah, let, me, let me finish. Let me finish and you'll get the answer. You're, you're doing the Anthony thing now, right? David, you were doing so good so far, right? Yes, so, David, wait a minute. No, I just, you were. I thought you were inviting now. people to debate, so if let you're me, saying you weren't doing let me, that, then I'll Let me explain it. And, and I've said it many times, right? Come on, which, which, yeah, thank you, David. Yeah, I'm oh, Anthony, go. man, I you, you, you get the first dub this time. <laughs> right, I, I still leave you hanging. All right. So, <laughs> we are du'at. We are giving dawah. Yeah. Right. If somebody wants to debate, they are more than welcome to come. Do you understand the difference yeah. now? Okay. So, Christian princess, a prince, whatever. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> you got that in for the camera. <laughs> I, I got. I, I've said that many a time. I know. I know. I have to say, Mr. Prince. If you're afraid to show your face, I can get you a little niqab. What do you think about that idea? He could, he could put like a little scarf on, and that way he won't show his face and he can come in person like you guys. So for the record, I have no idea why he doesn't want to uh, be seen. Princess, uh, he Prince, does, he, doesn't, he, he doesn't know why you don't want to no, show no. your face. No, no, no. Christian you guys, Prince. You guys heard that? Christian, Christian Prince. Prince. Anthony saying, why aren't you showing Christian your face? Prince is, Anthony is saying, I don't know Christian Prince. So I don't know him either. I have no idea why he doesn't want to be. Me neither. Uh, but that doesn't mean he's afraid. Well, I mean, there's some reason, right? And we, neither one of us know. So, so I'm so offering. So since neither could one be of his us job. Know, you have a job, I'm sure. Since right? neither one of us What do you do? Know, just like you said earlier, you're not going to assert YouTuber. something. You're a YouTuber? That's your job? That's my main job. Wait, that's your main job? You do this for money? Wow. What about you? What do you do? Uh, I do a number of things. I am a pastor. I told you that at the start. Cool. I uh, serve in prisons. That's oh, nice. I'm the regional I used to do the same thing. Man. In South nice. Carolina for prisons. Wow. I was converted uh, at 18 in prison. Oh, wow. So I've always had a love for prisoners, want to go in prisons. And I also, Careful how you say that, but all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I also have a night job where I cool. do a lot of online. So, Christian, not, not, Christian Prince, we are together making an offer that if you would like to have a conversation like this and you don't want to show your face, I'm offering to bring you a niqab so you can cover your face and we had a respectful, con nobody got hurt, nobody got beat up, nobody got fired, right? So we're making that offer to you. Nobody got fired. I mean, I, I work a regular job, I might get fired, right? Not yet, maybe I will. I'll, I'll, I'll take it for God, no problem, I'm not afraid. With, the, with that said, assuming he has some, you know, reason like, you know, maybe his job doesn't want him out there showing himself or something like that, uh, why wouldn't it be acceptable then to debate him online or something like that? Excellent. So the thing that happens online that we see is that somebody has a mute button. Right, and what happens is, as we've, and, and again, I don't watch his channel, but what brothers have sent me clips and things, he just mutes them and talks over them, and that doesn't really benefit. Like you see how we had a respectful conversation, we tried to keep it in person. That and look, he doesn't have to fly here. If he wants to fly me come somewhere, he can give me his address, no problem. I'll fly there. I'm not afraid of you coming here. He shouldn't be afraid of coming here either, right? So, let me, let so me say this on what I'm saying is, 
I prefer this kind of conversation where we can have a conversation, not just mute each other and, and, and yell over each other and somebody controls a button and somebody throws references without being here, right? So this is why. I, I like that. Let me okay, say Good. This. I'm glad you this. like it. I think there are channels on both sides that do some of that. Sure. People I, I don't I don't I don't do but I don't I do Skype are, I don't do Zoom I, I don't do those things. There are right? channels where both sides have been respectable in sure. the course of things. Christian Prince has not, well, I, and I you know that. I, no, I don't Come know anything. Okay, no, 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 watch no, the listen, show and then no, you figure it out. Me. Yeah. Listen to me. I, I haven't watched. Uh, I'm not. Like you don't a, watch the show. I'm not like a big. I don't watch all sorts of things. Have you watched the show or not? No, I mean I've seen. I like you. I could probably. I can honestly say before God, I've probably seen about as much as you have. Right? And you haven't seen much. Uh, and I You're not a big much. fan of Christian Prince, I guess. I, I'm not saying anything either, either way. I just I mean, don't, you haven't, I, you know, gotcha. not, uh, I don't know who the you know ruler is of Zamunda. Right? Then you wouldn't be a big yeah. fan of the ruler of Zamunda, I, right? I, I know. <laughs> King Jaffe 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 Jaffar. Jaffar. <laughs> I'm just saying right. I don't. I don't know. So what I, I will say, I appreciate much. the civil conversation. Right? And again, we are du'at. We are giving da'wah towards the oneness of Allah. We believe Allah is one. He doesn't become two. He doesn't become three. His sifat, his self. Let me, let me finish, bro. Come on, Anthony. We're doing so good. David, where are you at? Good. This is uh, our closing. All right, our closing. So let me oh, yeah, close. Okay. okay, you're close. Let, uh, I'll let you go first. You're the guest. No, go yeah, ahead. yeah. Why, why don't you guys like take two two minutes each or something like Excellent. that? Excellent. Go ahead. To close out. Does that work? Oh, sure, sure, sure. You want me? I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, 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 don't worry, buddy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Anthony. <laughs> I'll let you speak. I'll say this. I think we've gotten our major points out there. Excellent. Yeah. We've gotten some perspective. I think we've had a pleasurable dialogue. I've enjoyed you. I've expressed some of the things that I like. I love the fact that Muslims are willing to engage. I hope that never changes, unless, of course, they become Christian. That's the ultimate goal. From our perspective, just like yours is for us to become Muslim. I think that if we honestly go back and look through this, there's been uh, a good bit of breakdown in terms of uh, well, but but also clarification, but I think there's been a breakdown in some of the understanding. Hopefully some clarification along the way on both sides. Good. And uh, I, I do think that we've, for the most part, established that we, from our perspectives, have an aversion to the other perspective, but there hasn't so much been an argument presenting that case against or for or what have you. So, uh, I, you know, I'm not trying to make any new arguments here. I'm just gotcha. summing up from my perspective. I think this was pleasurable. Productive. I think it was productive. Uh, as, a, as a human being, I've enjoyed you, you know. Obviously, we're on different cool. sides of the, uh, you know, <laughs> God. At least we both, both believe in God. Yeah, that's true. And, and neither one of us are minimizing the serious nature of our differences, right? Nope. When I say I appreciate all these things, I'm not saying, okay, you're okay. You're not saying I'm okay, right? <laughs> I think you're okay. But in the sense of, <laughs> ultimately, both of us think the others are seriously off and have a uh, reckoning to, to, to give. You were going so well. Yeah, it's getting good, David. True. I'll on. say it too, don't worry. You know it's Go true. ahead, David. Oh, sort of final thoughts here? Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, I'll just give you my basic view. Um, Muslims generally go right to Christian theology, and this doesn't make sense, that doesn't make sense, this doesn't make sense. Uh, whereas Islam is this, you know, easy to understand oneness and so on. Uh, my view is that when you really get into Islamic theology, you're talking about the attributes of Allah and uh, the Quran and the nature of the Quran and the eternality of the Quran and the spirit of Allah and all these things. It's seems more confusing than than people are generally letting on and my my general view is just because something is confusing doesn't mean you do, you dismiss it just because you know if you study quantum mechanics no one no one gets it they just sure. understand that's that's how that's how things work so for me it comes down to something we didn't actually get to here what what's true what has God revealed and what has he shown that he has revealed to us, God? and because if, if, if God if God said to me that Islam is true, and I would say, okay, I don't get all this stuff, but He's God, and, and I'm not. Okay. Um, but similarly, if God reveals that Christianity is true, mm -hmm. then just to me, it just wouldn't matter if there were some aspect of Christian theology, and I said, you know, I, re I really don't get that, or it doesn't make sense, or something like that. Gotcha. So, but uh, uh, I do think it's cool when we can have conversations like this. Um, and you know, Anthony, Sam, we're all we're all similar, and that 
we're we're willing to escalate under you know under certain circumstances and so on. Gotcha. Um, but I think it's better if we have nice 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 conversations good. like this. Good. That's, that's my view. So it's getting late. So no 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 wait 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 I got I gotta finish my my no, 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 thing. Okay. Sorry. Talk wait no. You're just gonna hey. give a quick quick final thought. Two minutes. Yeah. All right. So you think of a topic. I don't know. All right. So first thing I would say uh, I want to appreciate you guys coming out. I want to appreciate your behavior. And I want to say that in the world that we live in, with atheism on the rise and all those kinds of things, I think Muslims, Christian, Jews have a lot in common, right? We do believe in God, at least. We do believe there is a creator, right? And that's something to focus on. I, I'm not, I don't think this is really like a butting head war type of a situation that some people want to make it. Right? I don't think we should be insulting. I think we should be having a good conversation as we've had. I believe that there is one creator. That one creator is indivisible. He doesn't become two, he doesn't become three, he doesn't become four. He has one zat. That of Allah is one. Sifat don't make it different. It is part of the same zat of Allah. I believe that one creator, he sent Moses and Abraham and Muhammad and Jesus and all of these prophets as prophets. All of them had different miracles. Some were born without a father or mother. Some were born from the ribs. Some were born without a father. Some all kinds of, some split the ocean, some split the moon. These are miracles sent to these prophets. And they all brought the same message. The message didn't switch up that, okay, right now you need to do good deeds and then later on just believe and somebody else would die for your sins. To me, that's not from the nature of God to be unjust to a bunch of people by making them accountable for their deeds and then unjust to another people by then just believing in something and no matter deeds, they go to heaven. To me, that's not my belief. My belief is that there is one Allah, one creator. He revealed the Quran. He is the one that sent the prophets and those prophets preach the same message. Believe in one creator. Don't worship idols, no statues, no symbols of statues, all those kinds of things and follow the prophet of your time. I believe this is the time of the prophethood of the prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and I invite all of you to believe in the prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and follow that guidance and this is what I believe leads to heaven. Again, appreciate the time, appreciate the conversation and you can bring Sam if you like. Sam, we gotta break our fast, come on. Let me stop this real quick just Where to start it up again. So the fires, the two. Sam! <laughs> Sir! Come on! Four, four minutes. Take a seat of No, no, I'm good, I'm good. Oh. Yeah, we have to. <laughs> Not an option. So, I mean, 10 minutes, lock it up. Sam, I was waiting for these guys. To All right, how you doing? Well, you yeah, mind? Should I call you Hassan? Oh, yeah, give me, give me a hug. What, what do you want me to call you? I don't want to call you anything. Call whatever, Hassan, what do you like? Sam, pick, pick. Pick uh, what? I don't know what. Pick a name like. that you like. Hassan. Hassan, how are you, Hassan? Where are you from? I like this one, Jaman Baru. You like it? Good. Chaldean. Okay, you're Chaldean. Ah. Ashuri Chaldean. Ashuri Chaldean. Don't speak Arabic. Okay. But I'm from speak Chaldean. Born in Kuwait. Yes. I speak nice. Arabic. Born in Kuwait. You got a big community in San Diego. Yes, you do. My cousins are there too. Nice. So don't tell them you might be much. <laughs> 1974 came to Chicago, so I didn't learn Arabic. I learned Assyrian. Gotcha. I just want to be clear because some people think I speak Arabic. I, I speak Arabic. Arabic? Yeah, I know you learn. But I keep telling them I don't speak the <laughs> I believe you. You don't speak Arabic. I don't speak Arabic. All right. But yeah, I don't know what you guys were talking about. That's we had a big conversation. So we, we, got, we, got, we got like a few minutes before we have to go break okay, our fast. God willing, yes. I've come back, we'll have Any time. Yes. I'll tell you what. Well, I'm in so, Arizona, Sam, but I come up here like once a month. I'll tell you what. Yes. I'm inviting you in front of everybody here to break fast with me. Come to my house, eat food with me, drink tea. We can, I have a library, we can sit down. So, what time do you, what time? I, we, we go to Arizona, I'm in Arizona. What time are you leaving? There's no specific time we need to leave, so if you want us to come over, we'll come over. Whatever. How late would it be? Um, probably on seven o'clock, we'll start dinner. Whatever you want Then we'll, He's we'll my be. right, Sounds but good. I come up right. once a month, I promise you, now that we understand each other, I will come up with we'll Okay, let me give you my number. Yes, and here, take And if mine. you want then, today, if you guys are heading out, yeah, because it's gonna get, if we sit, we're gonna sit at least till 10 p.m. midnight, so you guys better be ready. Yeah, All right. Two, two, no, 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 let's turn the cameras off. And uh, I, don't, I don't want people, I don't want people, me or you getting getting messages. Here, there you go, just type it in. Right. You're lucky. All right.
So he's my right, but I will okay. be coming more often. I'll see you guys. Got All right, cool. Because I come up here once a month. I see people. Here once a San month, Diego, man. You've been coming this lunch. often. Never came and said hello, man. I met you the wrong way. Oh, we gotta meet you the right way. That's why I come here. Give me a hug. All right. So we'll talk more. I hope we will. We will. Now you guys do have time for a quick conversation. So what's a good conversation? He good said talk? a few minutes. He wants to breathe. Yeah, I have to leave. So I mean, we leave at five. So. Come back. Okay. 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 Okay.